how do I start? My love. Ooh. My love. I don't know where to start from. Since you came into my life, it's been all bliss and adventure at the same time. On this day, being our eighth year in this marriage, I, um, okay, I wish you love and good health. Yes! I'm good to go. Hello. Yeah. Today is a special day. It's our anniversary. It's a wonderful day for us. Babe. It's midnight already. I know it's past 5 a.m. But I just wanted something unique. You know, something out of the ordinary. Something that is what being memorable? What do you think? Happy anniversary to us. Yeah, happy anniversary to us. <clears throat> well, I actually want to recite a poem, a special poem for you. But my heart beats fast. <laughs> okay, you're just such a wonderful woman. Come, I have a surprise for you. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm too sleepy. Oh, come. You still want us to go there? Oh. you've shown me over the years is indescribable. You have loved me more than I ever, ever imagined to be loved. You are so caring, so loving, so gentle. You're everything a woman would ever desire in a man. Hmm. Okay. Should I tell you something? You've been the one who have done everything. You've given me everything. You've given me love, care, affection, You've been my pillar when the ground trembles. <laughs> I mean, you've done it all. I'm not done. Let me interrupt you. Hmm? My love, I am one of the luckiest men on earth. Who would have believed that You've been the one footing our bills for many years now. You bought a car for me on my birthday. 
he gave me money to support my business when things went wrong. I must say I love you. You've done everything for me. I love you too. Very much. Now, do you know what? <laughs> what? We're not going anywhere. We're going to be in this house. Eat, marry, dance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking you out today. Mom. You're awake. What? Is it my birthday again? No. It's our anniversary. Anniversary. Mm -hmm. Um, well, it's been eight years since I got married to daddy. So wish us well. I wish you well. <laughs> so, are we cutting the cake no, now? No, no, no. Come, come. <laughs> we are not cutting the cake. We're cutting the cake in the morning. Okay? Okay. So right now, I want you to Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> to your bedroom. Go, 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 go. Okay. I'm watching you go to your bedroom. Ah, you promise? Hey, to your bedroom. In the morning, we'll cut the cake. You will cut the cake in the morning. <laughs> so! When did we stop? <laughs> we are going to dance, marry. Okay. Dance, okay. Enjoy. Okay, baby. Play. Okay, baby. Nothing <laughs> is gonna stop it. <laughs> I love you. Mm. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. To our beautiful union. Cheers. <laughs> Yes, my love. There is something I want to tell you, but I don't know if this is the right time to tell you this. What is it, baby? I don't know how to say it because I don't want this thing to ruin our beautiful moment. Nothing can ruin this beautiful moment. Good. Say it. Tell me whatever it is. If it's something that I can do, trust me, I'll do it. Okay. Sweetheart, mm -hmm. something came to my mind last week. Let me hear it. Okay. You see, since my business is dragging, I want to go into a new business. I want to start importing. Importation? Yeah. What exactly do you intend to import? I want to start importing condiments. Condiments? Yeah. Um, that's not a bad idea. But I I don't think condiments will fly in a country where we produce locally made condiments. Oh. So I think you should go into something Something that would sell like white fire in the market. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what of um, sweet and toffee? Perfect. Right. Perfect. Yes. You know, if you have your market target and um, strategy, do your market survey. Okay. Trust me, this will fly. And then your capital, what do you intend to invest? Okay, I I think I'll be needing like four million to invest in this business. Um 
<laughs> I mean, your capital. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, extra family and can. It will go far. Yeah. Okay, but I. I thought I gave you some money. <laughs> what happened to the money I gave you? Which money? I mean, I just have two million left. I don't understand. Yeah, I need just just extra four million to. <laughs> Here, can we continue? <laughs> no, no. Look, if you don't want to give me this money, tell me. I I I need money to to start up this new business. Just 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 extra four million, yes. If you don't want to give it to me, then let's leave it. Okay. Can we talk about this some other time? It's okay. Fine. Get it? Why would you walk? You've left. How do I go home? You left with a car. Hello. What do we call this? you were upset? How could you? How could you ruin a day like this for me? What's that to celebrate joy? While deep down inside of me, I'm not joyous. Money makes a man. Eh? A man needs money. Oh. So, this marriage has been based on money? Your love for me has been based on money? You can call it whatever you want. You said you do not have any money left with you. What happened to the five million naira I gave you last November? I've not been making profit. Business is slow. We have a lot of competition. November was just three months ago. Besides, I have been the one paying all the bill in this house. What happens to you supporting me? Do you have to remind me that? Huh? You have to remind me that you've been the one paying all the bills all this while. Why? As if I'm lavishing money on something else. Business can be slow, you know? So what do you want me to do? Uh, I want you to... Sell the land you bought two years ago. Maybe I'll use the money to start up a business. We can buy another land on a better site. There is no land to sell. What do you mean there is no land to sell? It means the land has been sold. Sold by who? Are you angry I sold my own land to solve a family problem? Please, please, please. I don't want problems. Let's not completely destroy today. Please. Why didn't you tell me before selling the land? Do I have to tell you before selling my own land? Yes, you have to tell me. I have every right to know whatever you want to sell as your husband. Oh, well, the deed has been done. Hmm. Now, 
how much did you sell the land? I don't know. I asked Peniel to sell it. And he did. He used the money to travel to Canada yesterday. Peniel sold the land and traveled with the whole money? Are you angry? Yes. Yes, I am angry. So this is all about your family. Wait. You were angry because I sold a land I bought with my own hard earned money to solve my family problem? Oh. Penel is more important than your hustling husband, right? Honey, I gave you five million naira from selling my own property to support your business just this last November, three months ago. It's not even up to one year. Now listen to me. I want the document to that land by tomorrow morning. Do you understand? for you. What is this? You want... Baby. Go to your room and change your clothes. Okay. Freshen up, all right? Okay. You want a divorce? Why? I do not have time to answer that stupid question. All I want is a divorce, and that is final. You need to call your sister because I don't, I don't understand what, what, what this is. Hello, Ego. Please, can you come to my house right now? All right. Am I, this, this is like a... Am I dreaming? It. You don't look cheerful. Nothing, I'm fine. No. I know you. I know you too. Well. I know how happy you are whenever I come around. What happened? Your brother gave me that. Where is this coming from? I don't know. 
Did you have problems with him? Not at all. Did you assault him? No, I did not. I have never assaulted him. I have never insulted him. And I've never thought about doing it, not even for once. Then why does he want a divorce? I can ask him. Oh, what is what have come for my brother? Where is he now? Sitting room. Okay. It's okay, don't worry. I'll be right back. Brother, what is the meaning of this? The owner of the letter knows the content of the letter. And she's required to respond as soon as possible. Where is this coming from? How did you even make this decision? What has she done to you? Go and ask her what she did to me. Brother, you still have not said what she has done to you. Yes, you've not said anything. Because I know your wife. She's not a nag. She makes sure she prepares your food on time. She respects you. So what has she done to you? Here you go. Just this past November, I sold a land I bought in my name and gave your brother five million naira to support his business. This is February. And he asked me to sell another land to give him more money. And I told him there's no more land to sell. The only land I had left, I gave it to my brother to sell and use the money to go to Canada this Sunday. Tell me, how have I offended your brother? In what way did I do him wrong? <laughs> brother, if this is what happened, then what is our offense? My friend, this is my family affair, so do not interfere. Brother, don't tell me your love for her is based on money. Hey, shut up and get out of this house. What is wrong with you? How can a wife sell a land without a husband's consent? Brother, can you even listen to yourself? Can you hear yourself? You sound childish. You know what? Papa must hear this. I'm going to tell Papa about this. Yeah, go ahead and tell Papa whatever you want to tell Papa. Huh? and nothing will make me change my mind. Very well then. And I'm going to the village right away to tell Papa about this. Papa must hear this. Now, I want you to tell me what exactly did I do that prompted your decision to end this marriage? Tell me. Papa, she has been a ton of my flesh. I want peace of mind. And she cannot give me the kind of peace I want. Hmm. Papa, he's lying. He's lying. His anger is that Anne sold her land, her own land, though, and gave the brother the money to travel to Bodoibo. You see that devil inside of you that is beating the drum of shame to take you nowhere. Anne is not going to leave this house. You heard that? I've heard. Good. And, like I said, you will stay put. You are not going anywhere. Okay? Thank you, Papa. Uh, Ego. Papa. Come and see me off. Okay, Papa. Okay. Okay. 
Why are you doing this? What do you intend to achieve by doing all this? You brought your father all the way from the village to the city to settle issues between you and your wife. Do you think your father is proud of you? I don't care if he's proud of me or not. Yes, I'm going to do what makes me happy. And no one can stop me. Hey, hey, you, get ready because we're going to the courts tomorrow. Nothing will keep you in this house till weekend. We need to talk. I am not just in the mood to talk about anything. And don't even beg me for anything because I'm not ready to forgive you. Do you really want us to go into this tug of war? Don't you know people will laugh at us? People will not laugh at me. Rather they will laugh at you. And let me make it clear to you. Even if you leave this house or not, I will marry another wife. And you will leave this house shamefully. You really want us to do this, right? Fine. I will not leave this house until you pay me every money I lent you. And if you do not pay, I will sell this house and everything in it to make my money. Hey, 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 hey. If you try any stupid thing with me, I'll kill you and bury you. We shall see. Don't even threaten me with that because I won't take it from you. I will tie the rope of war and hand it over to you. If you want, bring a rod and chain. Are you ready? We shall see. don't even want to beg me for forgiveness. Who the hell does she think she is? After all, how much did you give me? You gave it to me out of love. Uh -huh. And so? The issue between Ken and his wife shouldn't be ignored. Ken, your brother, I'm sorry to say this, is a very careless person. He will certainly do all he has said. So the earlier you start doing something about this, the better for all of us. Honestly, I don't know what to do at this point. I have called my uncle, but he said he is not in the country at the moment. 
And I know Ken will never listen to Papa. I think you need to go and talk to Anna. You need to talk to Anna to ignore whatever he's going to do. Or better still, he should leave the house and go stay with her friend, Juan. What about Kelechi? What about him? I'm worried about him. He's too young to go through all this trauma, all this danger. I'm really worried. Your brother needs spiritual help. Because what is happening to him now is not ordinary. Maybe he has fallen into the web of an evil young girl. <laughs> evil young girl. <laughs> Does he womanize? I have not said that. Anna. Anna, what's going on? Why are you shouting my name? Where is my car? Your car? Yes. Do you have a car? When did you buy a car? Anne, please don't mess with me. I don't want to be angry. Where is my car? I don't know why you are shouting. When did you buy a car that I'm not aware of? Wait. Are you by any chance referring to the car I bought for you? And where is my car? I don't want to get upset with you. Where is the car? Why would you get upset over what does not belong to you? That car is mine. And I've sold it. What? You sold my car? <laughs> Are you mad? Mm -mm. Point of correction. I sold my car. Anne. I don't want to lose it. Do not make me to do what I would regret. Where is that car? Ken Nedi. I dare you to do what you will regret. I dare you. Do your worst. Um, don't make me lose it. Do not make me to do what I will regret. Don't try to come an inch close to me. Don't try it. I am going to... Don't. This is just the beginning. <laughs> I'll leave your house. I am going to live with everything I came with, with interest. Come on, inch close. <laughs> Think more of it. I greet everyone in this house. I greet you. Okay. How are you? I'm good, but I'm not fine. Sir, so please call your daughter and warn her to return my car in less than four hours. Else, she'll be a dead meat. Calm down. What's the problem? Call her and ask her what the problem is. Your daughter sold my car. And when I said I'm going to deal with her, I am going to deal with her. I'm going to deal with her. Ken, calm down. What's the problem? 
if anything happened between you and your wife, at least you come down and talk to us. Not by shouting. Oh, I'm shouting. What are you are shouting? I'm now? telling you that your daughter sold my car and almost stabbed me to death. You're telling me that I'm shouting. Is that what a good father should say? Hey, hey, hey. hold it there. What is it? That's not the way to talk to my husband, okay? I wonder. You came in here. If there's any problem, you come down and you tell us. Then we know how to find a solution to it. You don't mm. talk to my husband that way. Uh. Understood? Mm. Yes. Is that how you people are saying it? Huh? Okay, don't worry. I am now going to do it my own way. Now, wait and see the result. Now, listen to no, me. wait. Now, listen. If anything happens to my daughter, I will show you the other side of it. This what young man. Mean? What did he drink? Let me call our daughter. Hello? Hello? She sold my car. She sold my car. Then when I confronted her, she threatened to stab me to death. You see? You see the kind of woman you are asking me to forgive? Someone who cares only about herself and her family. Kelly, if I have to confess to you, I'll tell you the truth. You brought this upon yourself. I have tried to talk with you over time, but you vehemently refuse to listen. Well, let me tell you, you know what your wife have done for you all this while when things are bad. Why are you like this? Are you trying to say that she has every right to sell my car? Well, you and I know that she bought the car in the first place for you when you sold yours to support your business, that little crumbled. Then she gave you money that brought you this far to where you are today. So I'm not surprised if she sold the car because you're not expecting her to leave your house empty-handed, ain't you? I can see you on her side. But make sure you still be on her side when I'll start dealing with her. Because I must deal with her. My friend, remember, I once told you that if there's anything you can be afraid of in this life, it's to be afraid of a woman who keeps silent whenever she's angry, who do not like to talk when she's upset. And your wife, is one of those women. Are you forgotten how dangerous I can be when I'm angry? I guess you know. I do not know what is wrong with you, but whatever it takes, I guess God knows the best. I'm done here. What the hell is going on? Where is my car? Hey, hey. If you want to rent, stay far. I am going to cut your throat if you come an inch close to me. A if minute. you want us to kill ourselves, we will kill ourselves. But by the time I go up there and come down, I want that car packed in this compound. Do you understand? Story for the gods. Okay, watch. Story for the gods. <laughs> you are not serious. Go on, come out. I'm here. What? What is happening here? <laughs> what about practice? I sold them. And you still owe me three million five hundred and seventy thousand naira. Wait, wait. You sold my things? You sold everything in the bedrooms? 
Are you mad or something? Are you mad? <laughs> Why are you shining your eye? Are you suddenly... Oh, you're here. Welcome. Well, this is the house. You can take a look. You can go to the rooms. Feel free, look around. I don't understand. Take a look based on what? What's going on? Hey, my friend. This house is not for sale. Okay? <laughs> so you can leave here if I call the police on you. Who is this man? Uh, ignore him. He's little or nothing. He was my manager in my bakery. Yeah, so do not listen to anything he has to say. He's usually under the influence of meth. What? Me? Under the influence of meth? Before I call the police on you now, because I live here. Leave this house now. Permit me to keep him calm, ma. Oh, I like you. You are free to do whatever you want with him. Hey, be careful. Do not allow him to inflict any kind of pain on you because usually, you know, his madness gets severe. What's, what's going on here? Hey, 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 excuse me, dog. Do not touch me. I'm a black devil. I will punch your nose. You're going to down. You're going to lose. You're going to lose. I'm, I'm not mad. I, I, I am not mad. Don't do this. Oh, you're, you're here and, and they're, they're, they're doing this to me. I, I am not mad. I, don't, don't, don't. I, if I get off from here, Sold everything in the house as if that wasn't enough. Papa, and brought some talks and they bound me and sold my house. <sighs> Kenny, what has come over you? Huh? Do you really enjoy what is going on? You want to kill yourself simply because your wife gave some money to her own brother? Papa. Papa, I just told you that Anne brought some talks to bind me. Ken, you brought this upon yourself. If you had listened to me, this wouldn't have happened. Look, you have to sort this out yourself. Look, women are very smart these days. How do you expect to send out your wife from your house? Are you expect her to live with nothing? Impossible. Besides, Anne has done a lot for you. Well, so simply because she has done a lot for me, that gives her the right to sell the house. Huh? Papa, go and tell her father that I'm going to skin her alive when I find her. Brother. Mm -hmm. Brother, do you really enjoy this fitty drama of yours? Do you really enjoy this dance of shame? My friend, if you don't know what to say, better shut up. Look, brother, I have tried to shut up, but I know it will haunt me soon. I need to talk to you. What have taken away your senses? What did your wife do to you? How can an adult like you not hold your family together? I've told you if you don't know what to say, just, 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 shut, up, just shut your mouth. Allow me to talk before you shut me up. When you finish paying your wife all the money she has spent on you, you can let her go. I know she will find and settle you after she has sold the house. <gasps> hmm. I know what to do. Papa, 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 call your son to order. Call him to order because I know Anne. I know she's not joking. I am not calling him to order. Let Anne collect her money by any means she wants. I mean, I don't support rubbish. I'm a very principled human being. Uh, 
for the sake of your son, please. You have to let this go. Hmm? That boy is too young and innocent to face whatever you are about to put him into. My son is safe where he is. And there is no way Ken is going to set his eyes on my son until I take him out of this country. And you went too far. Honestly, you went too far by selling the house. I understand you're angry with him, but this... But she, I know what I want. There is no way I'm going to allow Ken to intimidate me. Hell no, I won't let him do that. I'm not one of these ladies who men can treat anyhow, use and dumb them in the name of marriage. No, I am not. By the time I am done with him, he will leave to regret it. Fine. Now that you've sold the house, can you at least give him part of the money? At least to start up something. There is no way I'm going to do that. I won't do it. This is just not working at all. Anne, you have to leave town now. Why? Because Ken is looking for you all over the town. I don't want him to hurt you. Please, leave town. If you love your brother, tell him to run when he sees me. I am going to hurt him for wasting my time. I'm going to hurt him for destroying my innocence. Tell him. Obidogo, ha, Mr. Stubborn Child, you have ears but refuse to hear. You know they fear, hey, you don't even care. Mm -hmm. What is what you want to? Child, I like it all. You have been advised, but you know agree, you refuse to see. Dad, where's our car? Ask your mommy where our car is. Mom, where's our car? Let's just say, Daddy owes me some money. So mommy had to sell the car to make the money. Okay. Your mommy sold our car and everything. Everything? Mom, is that true? I am going to only tamper justice with mercy because of my parents. Nothing else. Hey, you don't even care. Mm -hmm. What is what you want to? Chai, I like it all. You have been advised, but you know, agree. You refuse to see. Say, now trouble you, they find you. Oh. Very soon you go get them double, double, oh, oh. She's playing with my emotions. And I'm going to deal with her. Seriously. If she have any scratch, consider yourself dead.
What she did was to tell your brother that she knows what she wants. If she never loves him, she would have left long ago. My only concern is that I've been talking to your brother all this while. But he wouldn't listen. He still insists on going on with a divorce. Well, Buchi, you've really tried. You've proven yourself that you're a good friend. I love my brother to do whatever he has made up his mind to do. I trust Anne. I know she has something she's bottling up. What does that mean? I tried talking to her. She says something that my brother is going to look for her and beg her, but she won't give in. So what do you think she meant? Striking back, of course. I guess. Striking what? I hope she's not going to hurt him. I don't think so. I don't think that is the case. If Anne wanted my brother dead, she could have done that long time ago. Will you be in court on Tuesday? Nope. I can't stand that rubbish. In fact, I don't want anything that will make me angry. I'll be there. Good. Well, can we get somewhere and have a drink? No, I'm fine. Oh my gosh. What's that? Oh. Anne. Anne asked me to pick up Kelechi by 2.30. Oh, really? And this is past 4 p.m. I have to go now. I'll call you. Oh, let me drop you off then. Really? Sure. Okay, thank okay. She. I don't know, darling. Please, who are you? I should be the one asking you that question because this is my fiance's house. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, my bad. Who is your fiance? What kind of stupid question is that? Listen, if you don't have any other thing to say here, please use the gate. You are mad. You've lost it. Do you know who you're talking to? Are you okay? Auntie. Auntie, please, let's go. Let's go inside. Leave her alone. I'm thirsty. Hey, 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 come back here. Go inside, Dre. Where do you think you're going to? What did you just do now? What you just saw. Don't you dare. Don't you dare try this rubbish again. Yes. Hey, it's what? What will you do? Mm -hmm. You must be mad. Yeah? You must be out of your senses. It is your father and your mother that are mad. <laughs> she slapped me. And I will do it again. Okay. Please, we have to.
to come home now. Yes. So persons came to the house. She even slapped me. Yes. Okay. This thing is mad. Hey, hey. Just consider. You will remain outside until he returns. You are mad for talking back at me. You must be very foolish for touching my boy. Now pack your things and leave. Just wait. I said Let pack your back. things and leave. What is going on here? She sent him out of your house. She, she, she even slapped me two times. Did, did you touch her? I'm asking you. Brother, she beat Kelechi, so I slapped her. Are you mad? Are you nuts on something? You slapped my wife to be? Are you stupid? Anita, what are you doing here? Brother, I, I... I said what are you doing here? I'll leave. Leave, leave at once before I open my eyes. Don't, don't leave. Wait, I don't Please. understand. Mochi, who is she? My little cousin. <sighs> oh. This was your plan, right? You planned all this. No, wait. Just watch and see what I'll do. Sorry, brother. You're sorry? I sent you to school and all you could do is, is to spoil someone's home. I'm sorry, brother. Auntie, I'm very, very sorry the way I reacted. I was deceived. I, I, I promise you to never Will you me. shut up? Look, next time when you are called for a business, you ask questions. Thank you. Get into the car. Get into the car! Divorced mommy. Also divorced mom. No worry. When you grow up, you will know what divorce is. I want to know it now, so I will know why you're crying. You will know when you grow up. I understand. What do you mean? Don't worry. 
all right? You don't even care mm. What is what you want to uh -huh. You have been advised But you know grief You refuse to see Say Now trouble you they find oh. Very soon you go get them double double oh, oh, oh. Your body they hot like fire. Your temper they hot, you know they tire. You they feel like lion. Your heart strong like iron. No forget to say, be a dog And how could you? you? Tell me, how could you? After all the pleadings from friends and families, you went ahead to divorce her. Why did you do that? That is what I always wanted. At least I have peace in my heart now, knowing fully whether I'm fighting this fight alone. Have you considered the psychological effects on your son? I can take care of my son. Ken. It's not as easy as you thought. Another woman can ruin the happiness of that little boy. Think about it. But she, like I said, I can handle it. Okay? Do not worry yourself about that. You they run kitty kitty. They run kata kata. They jump up and down like a mother. They look for trouble. What is he doing here? I'll give it two hours to leave this house. Do you understand? Yes. Dad. What is divorce? The boss is what you give to stop a Why would you give it to mommy to make her cry? When you grow up, God will never allow you to get the woman that will make you go for the boss. I'm not happy. Be happy, my boy. Be happy, okay? Are you really happy deep inside? Can't you see it? Hmm? Peace. I have peace in my heart. Yeah. I'll be downstairs. Be fast so I can come and reset this room. I said I'm not happy. Don't worry, my baby. You will be happy soon. Trust me, let's go. Quickly. Oh. They run kitty kitty. They run kata kata. They jump up and down like a mother. Ah. They look for trouble. We are leaving. I hope you get the peace that you seek. I don't understand. We? What do you mean by we? Where are you going to with my son? 
I am lost. Who wants to know where I am going with my son? Listen, you can go to anywhere you want to go to, but you're not going with my son. I can take care of him, okay? Look, please, do not add to my stress. I am leaving with my son. You are not going anywhere with my son. This is funny. What makes you think I'm going to leave my son for you? Han, I do not want to lay my hands on you. Do you understand? Kelechi, go back upstairs. Listen. I do not want problems. I don't even have the energy for it. Don't stress me. I don't want to talk. But since you want to make me talk, I would make it very clear to you that the only man who can stop me from going wherever I want with my son is his father. And what does that mean? Think, Ken. Think. Let's go. Where do you think you're going from? What does that mean? It's simple. You are not the father of my son. Don't even go there. Don't even talk that rubbish again. Don't even use that stunt on me. Okay? Because it will not work. Take a proper look at this boy. I mean, look closely at this handsome young man here. Does he in any way look like you? He's fair. You are dark. Does his eyes look like yours? Anne, if you continue with this drama, you will not like the outcome. Do you understand? Don't even start. Don't even go there. You know what? You're not going anywhere with my son. Are you Come deaf? On. Go back. I, are you deaf? I said he is not your son. You're joking, right? Kelechi. Listen. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to take any harassment from you. I have had enough of it. Don't try it again. I don't want to rough handle Let's you. Go. Don't even try it. Boys. Don't try it. Boys. Go back. Go back. Go back. Put him in the right place. If he misbehaves, you know what to do. Hey, 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 I trouble you, they find no. Very soon you go get them double, double, oh, 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 I thought, after the divorce, she was asked to pack out of your house. Papa, she left with my son. Eh. Yes. Eh, but, but the court granted her the custody of the boy, pending when uh, he would be of age. Papa, you don't understand. You don't understand. She said she's not bringing that, that boy back to me. Look, what do you want me to do? Eh? I never told you that I don't want to be part of the outcome of this divorce. I don't want to be part of it. Papa, Papa the worst part of this whole story is that she said, Kele is not my son. What? You mean Aunt said Kele is not your son? Yes! Yes! Papa, I am not going to let her take away my son with lies. I'm not going to allow that to happen. It's all right, so what do you want me to do? Papa, I want us to go to her house now and talk to her father. I want us to go and see her father. It's all right. Um, 
I will go and see him tomorrow so I can talk. Papa, no, 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 now, now. I want us to go now. Now. <laughs> that is not possible. Why the rush? I will go tomorrow and talk to him. Papa, Papa goes ready, more. I want us to go now. I can't allow her to take away my son from me. I, I can't go now. Tomorrow I will go. Auntie Julia, Auntie Julia, your blood in the heart like fire. Your temper the heart, you know the tire. You they feel like lion. Your heart strong like iron. No forget to say, be a dog within heart. They run kitty kitty, they run kata kata, they jump up and down like a mother. Ah, they look for trouble, try, they make it trouble. Ah, onion so good, or choke, very small. Ah, he gave up. As you go down, down, down. Papa. Papa, good day. Papa, Anne is looking for my trouble. Anne left with my son. You can imagine. Anne told me that Kilichi is not my son. For that, she, she, she called some hoodlums to beat me up and, and, and she left with my son. Hello, Honorable. How are you? Yes. I called you earlier. How was your trip? Of course. If you want me to do it for you, it's a matter of appending a signature on the right space. Yes. All right. Huh? <laughs> I will see you. Papa, I was telling you that Anne and, 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 and beat me up with some good lumps and, and left my son. Honey, what's going on here? I heard you talking. Who were you talking to? Oh, I was talking with uh, Orebo Dinka. Oh, I see. I hope he's fine. He's fine. Okay. He's doing well. I finished preparing your food. Ah. Mm. Do we go inside or you want me to bring it here? I think I would rather go inside and eat okay. my food. Okay, let's go. Hey! Papa, I, I, am, I am talking to you. Okay, this is family conspiracy. Hey, you people are conspiring against me, eh? Okay, no, I couldn't warn any. Don't worry. No, 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 don't worry. I am coming back here with war. Serious war. Watch and see. Hey, not Papa, I can't, I can't imagine what happened. I went to see that man and that man ignored me. He didn't even look at my face at all. Did I ask you to go and discuss with him? Huh? You came here ranting. I calmed you down and I said, give me time. Tomorrow I will go and talk with him. Huh? You went yourself and look at what you say. Huh? I'm sure you shouted at him. That's why he ignored Papa, you. I have every right to shout at him. How can she just wake up one morning and, and, and tell me that Kelechi is not my is not is not my son? For what? A child that I raised with my flesh and blood is not my son anymore. Are they possible? Uh, Kere, if you continue to shout like this, you will ruin things for yourself, oh. Papa. I'm wondering why you don't want to go. Why? Look. Did somebody die? Papa, nobody died. Uh -huh. But I am dying inside. 
You don't even have the idea of what is about to happen. <laughs> Look, since nobody is dead, nothing has spoiled. Just calm down. Tomorrow, I will go and discuss with my in-laws. Okay? Papa, you, 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 you don't understand. <laughs> calm down, though. I'm advising you. Okay. And my daughter, I know you have passed through tough times these few weeks. But I really want you to tell us the truth. What truth, Dad? Ken was here. And he said you told him that Kelechi is not his son. I know you might have said that in anger. But I still want you to tell us the truth. Daddy, I'm sorry. This might bring disgrace to this family. Um, Kelechi is not his son. What did you just say? Ah. Did you sleep with another man to have Kelechi? Mommy, please. Don't don't get upset with me. Ken has some testicular malfunctions, which he has been trying to correct with surgery over the years. <laughs> that is not an answer to my question. Did you sleep with another man to have Kelechi, your son? She doesn't want to answer me. <clears throat> Let me take it that you don't want to tell us the truth. We can go for paternity test if you want. Kelechi is not his son. Is he aware that you slept with another man to give him a son? No. Hi. But things had gone out of hands already for him then. What? What is this? Madam, what it means that your husband will remain impotent for the rest of his life. Unless Mira could do otherwise. Oh my god. Doctor, please. Is there nothing we could do? I mean, an IVF. No, ma'am. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You, you have to help me. This marriage is just three weeks. Three weeks old. Please, help me. Madam, I wish there is something I can do to help the situation. What? I can't. I shouldn't have signed a consent form if I had known it would get to this. I shouldn't have signed it. No. That will worsen the case. His bladders would have been damaged by now. Oh my god. Just put yourself together. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god.
<laughs> Why did you have to let this happen to me? Why? This is a big body on my shoulder. <laughs> What is it? Why are you crying? Where's my brother? How was the surgery? The, the brother is fine. Um, the surgery was successful. But you're crying. Why are you crying? It's, it's just... Uh, it's just tears of anxiety and joy. I've been nervous, so I decided to let it out so I can feel free. <sighs> And you are a strong woman. We love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, can I go and see my brother now? Okay. Thank you. keep this between us. This would demoralize my husband if he hears of it. Please. How do you intend to keep it? Let me handle it. I think there are needs for you to let him know about it. At least he will try to be just measures. Please. For the sake of his mental health. Do not let any other person hear of this. Please. If that is what you want, fine. Thank you. But, madam, this is not the end of the world. You have options in case you change your mind about telling him. Thank you, Doctor. I told the doctor not to tell him because I believed he would find healing from God. So the upshot of this story is the confirmation that you really slept with another man. You cannot open your mouth to say it. There are certain things you don't say with your mouth. You mean you slept with another man and you had the guts to tell your husband to his face that that son is not his? There is another side of the story. I mean, I have my own story too. And what about the shame? Who disappointed at you? I have made my act of contribution. I'm disappointed at you. Mom, Mom, I have something. You have nothing to say. Keep it to yourself. Did you hear me? Keep that thing to yourself. Bury it there. There's so much going on, going on around me. There's so much happening around me. There's so much confusion. 
So much commotion that could lead to destruction. Yeah. I did not ask for this war. No, no, no. I think I was so fast and blunt. Shouldn't have said a word to them. That would have left them defending me when the matter arises. My daughter. How are you? Good afternoon, Papa. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, I was actually going to your father's house. What is this bad news that uh, Ken brought to my house? I was thinking your marriage with him was as sweet as honey. What's going on? Papa, please, can we go home and talk? You can still go and see my father later on. Yeah. Okay, let's go. And my daughter. What is going on? Look, don't tell me that you've joined forces with Ken to, to make my life miserable and die before my time. Papa, no. Don't say that, please. I'm so, so sorry about everything that is going on. It's Ken. Since he complained about what I did. He's been looking for every possible way to end this marriage. I, I, I'm confused here. Tell me, aside the fact that you spent money on the land and car, is there anything that happened that uh, I am not aware of? Oh. He's being cantacarous simply because I have issues with my womb. Now, you are getting me more confused. What do you mean by you have issues with your womb? Hmm. Papa. I lost my womb during the birth of my son. What? I had complications. Why is... <laughs> Why am I not being told about all this? Why is everyone keeping me quiet about things that are happening in your marriage? Well, that's uh, because Ken and I decided not to tell any of our relatives. Oh my God! I mean, <laughs> if I was complete, Ken wouldn't have gone for a divorce. Look, I never knew Ken was serious about this divorce thing. You mean Ken was doing all this because of your medical condition? Well, I am not even angry with him. I'll find my grounds again. It will only take a matter of time. I'll be fine. So, what do you think? I 
I know my daughter is saying the truth. Yes. She's a honest person. And you know that she does not talk too much. Whether she's saying the truth or not, that does not stop her action of being disgusting and sinful. Do you know what it means to give a man a child that does not belong to him? That is terrible. Very terrible. So what do we do about it? There's nothing to do about it. Too. The deed has been done. She has already put all of us to shame. Not only that, my good name and reputation in this village has been robbed to the mud. Before noon tomorrow, the news will be everywhere. And the daughter of Sir Daddy Amandibugo left her wedded husband to the father of her child. What a capture. <sighs> The most important thing is that I do not want the trouble of Ken and his family. Honestly, I don't know. Now that we have retired, I want us to be living in peace. Please. <laughs> the real trouble will come when the real father of our child come. That's when you will see the real trouble. Hey. Oh. He came here. He told me that uh, you said Kele is not his son. I was just wondering. My daughter, I need you to tell me the truth. Is he the father of Kele? Did you tell him out of anger or you actually told him the truth? Well, I spoke out of anger. Uh -huh. I knew it. Ah. Well, Kelechi is not his son. A lot has happened in this marriage that we concealed. I have done everything, everything possible to make this marriage work. I've sacrificed everything, including my mental health. Everything. Look. At this point, you need to tell me everything. I mean, everything that I need to know. Papa, you remember Ken had a surgery immediately after our wedding? Mm -hmm. Yes, I remember. Uh, the one I asked you to sign the consent form, right? Exactly. Well, Ken has not been potent since then. What did you just say? I said, Ken has been impotent since after his second surgery. And he's not even aware of it. So why didn't you tell him? Because I didn't want him to feel less of a man. Because I wanted to give him a child of his own. I cheated on Ken because I did not want to close the lineage of this family. It's alright. It's okay. I am going to deal with that. Do you understand? 
I am going to deal with her that her family will not recognize again. I'm going to fight with the last drop of my blood. Fighter. No, oh, you're a jet fighter. Okay. I guess you're enjoying the whole drama. Are you enjoying the shameless drama of yours? I expect you to calm down and think of a way forward other than blowing things out of proportion. There is no way forward and there is not going to be any way forward till she brings back my child. She has shown you proof. You have seen the results of the paternity tests. And you have also had the voice, the confidence in her voice. Haven't you? Why haven't you thought about it? You should think about it. I mean, why not look for a way to source for the way out and get the originality of this paternity test? If she's saying the truth, then why is she hiding? Why can't she come out and face me? There is nothing anyone is going to tell me that will make me change my mind. Nothing. Because I'm going to deal with her. It's obvious you don't want to listen. Since you don't want to listen to me, I have to go. Have a nice day. You're burning the heart like fire, like fire. You're dead by the heart, you know they tire. You know they tire. You may feel like lion. Lion, agu, agu, agu. Your heart's strong like iron. Mm -hmm. No forget to say. No forget to say. In a dark world, I do it. Waiting for the cold down. In a dark world. Get to know me, brother. How are you and the children? Exactly. No, the village is good. I'm enjoying myself in the village. No, but you know how many years I've stayed in the town. And I get a go. <laughs> Over 35 years. So about the mom. Yes. Okay, I'm going to car. Oh, I'm not from out of town. Yeah, someone is coming into my compound. I will talk to you later. All right. Ah, welcome. <laughs> Darling? No. Yeah. I know. Hey! Wait, wait. But how is everything? I will find out. Everything is fine. Come this way. Okay. Hey. What of my my in law? Everybody is fine. Everybody is fine. You are welcome. Thank you. One more thing. Let me get you the cola. No, 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 no. Sit down. Please sit down. Uh, the cola can wait for another day. Wait, so you mean you don't need cola? My in law, that thing that pursued the frog out of the hole is bigger than the frog. Hmm? Cola can wait. I will take next time. The antelope has jumped a ditch and landed in a trap. There is another story before the misfortune of the antelope. There was indeed a hunter after its life. Children of nowadays need to go out there and hear our story, how we started this journey with endurance. Hmm. My son is the architect of his own calamity. There is a saying that a man should not wash his dirty linen 
in a place where friends and foes can see him. You are talking about your son. I also blame my daughter for not telling her husband about the surgery. At least the both of them would have put their heads together and adopt a child. Mm -hmm. huh? Your daughter understands my son very well. My son wouldn't have survived it if she had told him about it. And saved my son by not telling him. Hi. I don't even know how I feel. I think what we need to do now is to ensure that there is dialogue. We need to call two of them to order. We need to sit them down and explain to them the implication of what they are about to do. That little boy does not need this from them. He doesn't need this at all. You are right. But I don't think your son will be ready for dialogue. Yes, you need to see him the other day. You need to see the range in his eyes when he came to my house. I am telling you, he was raving and furious. So my Lord, I don't think your son will be ready for any form of what? Dialogue. So hey. but, um, I will talk to him. Hmm? I will talk to him. It's okay. I have to go now. Ah, yes. just like that. You did not accept cola. I even have a good pan wine there. But you refuse all of this, so no problem. Uh, go well. Thank you. Yeah. I will accept the cola next time. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Darling. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's your go. <laughs> See you some other time. It's okay. Yes. Okay. The son that they were so furious. In fact. Just go in there and tell Aunt to bring out my son. Who are you talking about? You better not be silly right now, okay? Just go in there and tell Aunt to bring my son for me now. What did you just call me? Did you just call me silly? Hey, you think I am your wife who you insult anytime you like? I don't care to know what you think or not. Just go in there. Ask Aunt to give me my son. Please, though. Does this place look like her father's house? You, you, is it that you don't remember where you paid her bride price? I don't want to be harsh on you. Just go in there and do what I asked you to do now. Go and pick up your son when you left him. Nobody's here. Where do you think you're going? Want me to push you, right? In my own house. Come out now and get my son. Oh, you think if I invade my house, I cannot pay my rent? 
Come out now and bring my son so I'll go in peace unless you want war. Enough of all this nonsense. Please leave my house hey, now. Hey, my friend, shut up! You have my son and my wife hiding in your house. And you're asking me to get out of your dirty house. Dirty you house? Mad? Are you not? Dirty house? You come into my house and call it dirty. Get out of my house. I've enjoyed you long enough. Get out! If, if, if I slap you now, eh? If I slap you, eh? You, you, you will have mad to talk again. Get out before I lose it. Get lose out. It. If you lose it, I'm going to tight it for you. Oh. I, I can see that you're losing one knot from your head. Where, where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going to? Even the police does not have any right to search my house like this. What kind of nonsense is this one now? What is it? These people are quiet. I don't want to rough handle you because you won't like it. What I'll do to you will like it. I don't do what? You. Do what? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? You think I'm your wife? Leave the way. Leave what way? In my house. Leave what way? Leave the way. Leave what way? You think I'm scared of okay, you? Okay, maybe you don't Leave what way? Maybe you don't hear English. Et non voila. <laughs> See what? Hello, Butchi? Yes, it's me. Butchi, can you imagine? Juan locked me up in her house because I came to look for my son and my wife. She has the gut to lock me up in her house. She was even saying that I'm not going to leave this house till, till, till the next three days. She left. Butchi, why I called you is, please, if you know who Juan is, Call her and tell her that I'm going to burn down this house if she do not come to open this door now. Call her now and talk to her. Obidogo, ha, Mr. Stubborn Child, you have ears but refuse to hear. You know they fear. Hey, you don't even care. What is what you want to Chai, ayaki choro Hello, Papa. Hello, Ken. Can you hear me? Alright. Um... I have spoken with her in-laws. 
and uh, we came to the conclusion that at this point we should let peace reign. Yes. I want a story. Papa, I've not even started. She's asking for peace. By the time I've finished dealing with her, she will not see the mouth to ask for peace. The only thing I want now is for her to release my son. She wants peace. If I do not get my son from her, we will both go down. Bet me. Look, don't shout at me when you are talking to me. I'm your father. What is wrong with you? Eh? How do you talk back at me? Meanwhile, you are saying nonsense. No meaning to all the things you're saying. Hello? Hello? Can you imagine? He called the call on me. Hi. Is it okay? Eh? I was talking to him. He was just speaking nonsense. At the end of the day, he called the call on me. What? Hello? <laughs> Let me not uh, say anything or, or, until I see him face to face. Come on, sit down. Hey, is there uh, any problem? Uh, nothing serious. <laughs> nothing serious. Mm. Ken was in my house this morning. Mm. He said I should tell his wife and their family that they should return his son. Mm. I was confused. Is there any problem? But I just told you that there is nothing serious. You know, there's really no problem as such. Okay? He didn't tell you anything. <laughs> but I just told you that he was speaking rubbish, shouting at me. He didn't tell me anything. Or did he tell you anything? Uh, nothing actually, but he only <laughs> insisted that uh, the wife should uh, return his son. And that brings me to my question. Is Ken and the wife, are they still living together? Uh, uh, am I not here with you? Huh? Okay, by the way, why do you want to know if they are still living together? Whatever affair they are, I also affect the nose. Mm. So that's why I'm saying that if they are having any problems, so that we join hands together to resolve it. Mm. It's alright. <laughs> like I told you. No. There is no problem that I am aware of. Uh, except you are aware of anyone there, you can say it. Uh, no, it's all right. Uh, so that's why I said, let me just come and see you. Okay. I'll be on my way now. It's all right. Huh? Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Greet your wife and children. No? Okay. okay. Idiot. You are here. You want to tear other people's family apart. Meanwhile, your son beats his wife every day. Put in your mouth things that do not concern you, idiot. I know of you. I don't blame you, it's kind of blame. John, please go open the door. Let's avoid this trouble coming from all angles, please. I will not open that door for him today. He must sleep there. What if he destroy your electronics and set your house on fire? Then the fire will roast him. What is wrong with everybody? Juan, please avoid this temptation. I beg of you. Do you even know how that beast harassed me in my own house? I don't even want to talk about it. See, he will sleep there. He, in fact, he must sleep there. Then he will learn to respect women when I open the door for him tomorrow. I think you're getting me angry right now. Yes. If you don't want me to sleep in your house, just say so. In fact, let me go and look for a hotel to lodge for the night. Juan, what is wrong with you? Very well.
I know this will not be easy. But I am glad it is coming out this way. At least, I have cleared my conscience. like this place. It has no balcony. I'm sorry, darling. We're not staying here for so long, okay? Okay, no. When are we going home? Home? I'm not sure we'll be going home. But I will be taking you to somewhere better. Far better than home. A place where you will be very happy. Would that be happy too? Will he come with us? Yes, yes. Daddy will be very happy. Will he come with us? Well, when the time is right, Daddy will come. Alright? I want to know when Dad will come with us to the happy home. Like I said, Daddy will come when the time is right. For now, you need to go back to sleep. Okay? Why am I not going to school again, Mom? You need some rest. But I was not told we are going on break in my school. My baby, can you sleep? Let's talk about this tomorrow. Okay, Mom. Yes, Dad. Are you angry? No, 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 no. I'm not angry. What is this now? Eh? God, when I pray that my son should be greater than me, I didn't add that he should be nonchalant. Eh? Which kind of son will not pick his father's call? What kind of son is this that will ignore his father's call for this long? Eh? I cannot talk to you now. I'll call you tomorrow when I'm out from police cell. You can imagine. Aunt got me arrested. And locked me up. But this is the kind of woman you want me to have peace with. That will never happen. But I'm going to deal with her and her family. If she do not bring out my son. Okay. Yes. Look, the arm that I saw today 
is not someone that is capable of calling police on you. Hello? 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 Call the call on me. I don't know my son anymore. When did he go? When did he start this? His terrible lies. What kind of son is this? I can see that you're so hungry. You must be hungry. Oh, poor you. <laughs> so sorry I went out with all my kids. I am going to come back for you. Take your stupid face out of my hand. Do Don't even come close to this person. I am going to teach you a lesson that you never forget in a hurry. Action and not words. Madman. Don't even try it. Else I'll slit your throat open. <laughs> you should have come close now. Who are you? Oh, the kitchen was locked. Oh. <laughs> You're even lucky I didn't charge you for my unit. I allowed you to enjoy the AC. <laughs> Less man. Stupid idiot. You think he's arm? All I'm saying is she didn't have gone to create a scene. None of her friend is happy with you right now. Come on. Kenny should have avoided the embarrassment. I'll make her pay. I will make her pay. I will get her arrested. She conspired with Anne to take my son away. Ken, what has gone wrong with you? What is going on with you? Is there something going on that I do not know? Because I don't get it. If you were in my shoes, you would have gone mad by now. I have told you twice. Go to that hospital. Speak with the doctor over your son. And then when that is done, you cannot go back to her family. Requesting for your son so you can go for the DNA. Is that not better enough? I will go to their house and I'm taking what to that place. I am taking what there. They look for trouble. Chai. They make it trouble. Onion so or choke very small. He gave up as you go down, 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 promotion. Very soon you go regret your action. Oh, Like fire, like fire. You're the hot, you know the time. 
I'm not going to kill myself. I see this in here. I'm standing on you. I'm just thinking. I'm looking at you. Officer, look at them. Look at the parents of the kidnappers. Look at them. Go ahead and do your work. I'm going to rest. I'm going to rest. Stand up. I'm going to rest. Ken. Okay. If you're a man enough, why did you not go for paternity test? Officer, why don't you go ahead and, and arrest up. these people? Do your work, please. Stand up. For? Kidnapping. Kidnapping who? Meat or cow? Kidnapping. What up. are you saying? Stand up, let's go. No, kidnapping who? For God's sake. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Officer, don't, stand up. don't touch me stand like up. that. Stand up. I tell you, stand up. Madam, Officer, move. Don't do your work. Madam, move. Arrest this people. Move. 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 Stand up. I think you know who you are pushing. Move! Don't push him! Push What's wrong with you? Move! 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 Hey, you don't even care. Mm. What is what you want to? Chai, ayaki choro. You have been advised, but you know greed. You refuse to see. Say, no. How could you do a thing like this? How could you do a thing like this? Do you know you have worsened the whole situation? But you do not shout at me. Please, do not. This is my affair. Really? Yes. You remember how this whole thing started? I warned you, if you have swallowed your dirty pride and fixed this thing on time, it wouldn't have gotten to this point. What has come over you? You're not married. When you get married, you handle your family the way you want it. I've chosen to handle mine with iron hand. Do you understand? What makes you think you even have a family now? Yes, you're not sure if you have a family. Because you really do not know what is about to befall you. Are you wishing me evil? Do not wish me evil. Because nothing will befall me. Good luck. I'll do anything to bring my son back. He gave up as you go round and round, causing commotion. Very soon you go regret your action. Don't lock it. Go and call the weather to bring it down. Then they fix it back. Yes. Okay? Yes. And make sure you weld yourself to the gates. Idiot. Don't lock it. Come and lock me. I don't mind. Please, 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 I don't want you to go. Please stop and stop, please. Please, can you just get out of my way? If you step out in this anger, you're going to do something you will live to regret. Please, do not block my way. Do not. Anne, listen to me. You have a loaded gun in your bag and I don't want you to do something wrong, please. You know what? You said that fool, I am going straight to deal with him. Who is he to think that he can lay his filthy hand on my father and get away with it? I, no way. I, I, Allow me go and deal with that idiot. I understand, but you have a loaded gun in your bag. Please, think about what you're doing. Joanne, if you block me one more time, 
I will forget that you are my friend and use the gun on you first. Out of my way! Now! DPO. She's at my door. Yes, and she's with a gun. Please come and arrest her, please. She's at the door right now, DPO. Okay, okay. Go. 
our place. Let this not be true. I cannot imagine leaving you for another man to come and claim you. <sighs> yes, officer. Yeah, but please take her away. I don't want to set my eyes on her. Okay? And make sure she tells you my son's whereabout. Okay. Thank you so much. of this? Eh? Has he got into this? If not that you're a good man, I would have shot you right now. Please, put the gun away. Put it away. This can go off or put it away. Ken arrested my parents. Ken did what? Like a mouth for once. This is not why I am here, sir. I give your son three hours. Three hours to get my parents released. Oh, he would not like what I would do. I told her. I told her not to go there with a gun. But she refused to listen to me. Oh I told her that it was a bad idea, that it was all going to lead to a great disaster. But she did not listen. She did not listen. Please, what exactly happened to her? <laughs> I heard the police got her with a gun. I'm not trying to escape. She was shot. She was... Oh no. Oh. <laughs> this is so bad. Ken has killed the only woman who ever loved him. Ken will suffer. Ken will die an untimely death. He shall never be well with him. <laughs> Ask you a few questions before I say my mind. Well, go ahead and ask me whatever you want to ask me, but do not ask me to forgive. 
Why did you arrest her parents? Because I believe they know my son's whereabouts. Now, go and release them this minute. Go and get them released. Papa, I want my son. They will remain there if they do not give me my son. Really? Yes. Okay, now, I want you to tell me the truth. What did she actually do? Huh? Why and how did this madness start? What actually did she do wrong? Did she cheat on you? I mean, what is wrong in her selling her own property to help her own brother? What is wrong with that? Huh? Have you forgotten so soon how she picked you from the gutters and made you what you are today? That is the problem. But, but that is the problem. She thinks she can do anything she wants to do in this marriage just because she made me what I am today. Eh? Papa, I've been tired long ago. I've been tired of this marriage long ago. Ken, you have not told me exactly what she did wrong. You have not. Is there something that I am missing? I mean, okay, did you catch her with another man? What exactly did she do? Let us see. All of a sudden, she's becoming too busy. All of a sudden, she's becoming too bossy. You can you imagine I called my wife on the phone. My wife couldn't pick my call just because she was busy at the office attending to whatever she thinks that is more important to her. Just for her to come back home and say, I am sorry. The other day, she did the worst. You can imagine. Ken. Ken. What's going on? Why is she not picking my calls? She has been ignoring my calls for an hour now. That may not be what I'm thinking. Is she cheating on me? Is she really cheating on me? Dad. Oh, oh boy. How are you? Why are you talking to yourself? No, I wasn't talking to myself. I was humming a song I learned when I was a little boy. You know, kind of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, please, can I go and play outside? Are you done with your siesta? It's okay. I'll go. I'll go Thank you. Be careful. I am going to follow her to make sure she's not cheating on me. In that case, you will see my account officer tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. Thank you Just, so much. Uh, come very early to the office. Thank I you so much. I will instruct him to initiate the tournament. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's really been wonderful doing business with you. What we can do? No, I'm okay. I'm okay. So, tomorrow, come to the office. Okay. So, you, you get in touch with me. I'm not going to
Okay. Wow. So this job is more important than your husband. Yeah? Huh? Honey, what is the problem? The problem you're asking me. You can't even pick my call. Even if you pick, you talk briefly and you cut you hang up the call. Why? I'm so sorry. My phone has been in my car. It's been a crazy day. From board meetings to conference reports and now here. I'm so sorry. Let me tell you something. This boss lady has to stop. A return from work late. You leave very early before I wake up. I don't even have time for my wife anymore. Because she's she, she's one manager in one construction company or what? Huh? Okay, now, if you had wanted to correct me, why did you just wait for me to get back home before you do that? You, you didn't have to come here. Oh, you see what I'm talking about? Boss lady, pride. Huh? You see what I'm talking about? Yeah? You're excellent in your work, but you do nothing at home. Can you stop? Stop what? I should stop what? I am tired of this marriage. Yes, I'm tired of it because it cannot work like this. It cannot work. You children of this generation, what do you actually want? Huh? You have a wife that is hardworking. You complain. She's not always at home. You have a wife that is lazy. You complain. She stays at home too much. What do you want? Ken, I put it to you that you've been harboring this for a long time now in your heart. Papa, how is it possible that a woman who, who's, who is dealing with plenty men in her office will not be cheating on her husband? How do you think it's possible? Papa, to be honest with you, eh? The moment my wife starts ignoring my calls, my mind just, just left that marriage. I got tired of that marriage. My feelings for her died long ago. Kenne, you have not given any tangible reason for what you're doing. You have not. Rather, you are only displaying sheer stupidity. I think you are seeing another woman. That is why you are doing all this. That is not the matter. That is not the matter. The, 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 the matter here is I want to see my child. If they do not give me my son, I will take what to them if they don't want peace. Now, let me ask you. Why are you so sure that that boy is actually your biological son? How are you sure? Huh? Have you gone to the hospital to do a paternity test for you to confirm that? Papa, I don't need to go to anywhere. I don't need it at all. She isn't that tools to hold me that because I've told her that I don't want the marriage anymore. Look, I know what you're doing. You are doing all this because she's incapable of having children again. Papa, it's never my fault. It's never my fault at all because she has not been taking her routine drugs. <sighs> Can I let me warn you? I will stop you from answering my name if you don't do exactly what I want you to do. You hear that? What are you talking about? What is this now? Eh? Papa, as you can see, I'm no longer a child. I'm a grown man. So I have the, the, the authority to, to, to do what I want to do, to run my family the way I want it. Yes, I have the right to marry another wife if I want to. In fact, I'm getting married next month. Really? Yes, I said it and I will do it. Well, since you insist on being stupid, let me break the bad news to you. Are you aware that the second surgery that you did ruined your manhood? Are you aware? Are you aware that that surgery made you become impotent? What? What are you saying? Oh! 
Oh, 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 she came here to feed you with those lies. Ah. Her tricks will never work. Well, Ken, my son, if you think I am joking, go and consult any doctor, your personal doctor, or any doctor for that matter, to confirm this. Perhaps you will bring down your weights. Antibiotics. All right, fine. It's okay. It's okay. Yes, who's there? Excuse me, sir. Good day. Good day. Doc, please, I'm looking for someone. And who's that? His name is uh, Dr. Bjorn. When did you see him last? About seven years ago. He has been suspended by enemy for some life threatening errors. But why do you want to see him? I had a surgery here sometime in the past, and I need to know it was successful because I had something strange about my health that I'm not aware of. Something strange like what? My potency. Please sit down. Please, please help me. I need your help, please. What is your name? My name is Ken Onunuju. Okay, excuse me. Your surgery was on 14th of April, 2014. Exactly, exactly. Mm. How is the result? If there's any confusion, let me know. Oh my God. This cannot be. <sighs> I'm sorry about that, sir. That's the same mistake that Mr. Bjordan made here that almost ruined our reputation. Reputation? No reputation. If you had, this wouldn't have happened. I'm sorry, sir. Sorry. We are ready to pay some reasonable amount for compensation and for damages. I don't need your money. Your money cannot bring back my manhood. Your money cannot bring back or, or, or rather give me a child. Please calm down, sir. Don't tell me to calm down. Oh. I'm sorry, sir. There's so much going on, going on around me There's so much happening around me There's so much confusion, so much commotion That can lead to destruction How do I wake up from this nightmare? How could she hide such a thing from me? No, 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 no 
but I'm confronted by one Someone who used to be the one for me Someone who meant a lot to me Oh, can he come get me? Oda, congratulations. I'm happy for you. Where is my wife? She's outside. But oh, she's crying. Why is she crying? I don't know. But I think something is wrong somewhere. Please, go off me. Oh, my head is on fire. I am doomed. I'm just a piece of shit. No! There's so much going on, going on around me There's so much happening around me There's so much confusion, so much commotion That could lead to destruction yeah. I did not ask for this war no, 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 but I'm confronted by one By someone who used to be the one for me Someone who meant a lot to me Oh, can he come get me? So much betrayal around me, temptation. Okay, it don't happen, no. Okay, it don't happen. It is, you know, since I had a cry, you know, since I had a cry, you better ask me why I had a cry, okay? Because if you hear about okay, that, you will cry past me. You will cry past me, okay? I told you to stop this fool, son, but you wouldn't listen. Now go to the station and see what you've done. What happened? Who did you ask the police to arrest? I asked them to arrest her. Well, why did you ask them to arrest her? Because she came here with a gun threatening to shoot me if I don't release her parents from the police station. <laughs> Bravo! Bravo! I mean, your father, you're proud of you. I guess you're proud of yourself. He also. Right? What happened? You asking me. No, are you asking me that question? Come and see things yourself. Come and see what you've done. Oh, ah. Ah. He gave up. Ah. As you go down, 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 down. Causing promotion. Ah. Very soon you go regret your action. Oh, oh, oh. Officer, where is she? Oga, okay. uh -huh. that your wife is a devil. How? Eh? We just try to know where he keep the gun. Before I come out, come back. Don't kill herself. How? I don't know. Did you touch her? No, even touch her. They would, how should they kill herself? Oga, okay. I don't know. Where is her dead body? 
you saw it, so they were. This guy cannot be serious. Sir. What, 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 what does he mean? Eh? Oh my this God. guy cannot. This guy cannot be. Hey, what did they do to my sister? This is true. You've seen it. Now you've seen it. I tried talking to you, but you wouldn't listen. Look at what you've made the whole family go through. All because you... Now it's a corpse. It's a corpse! You have caused the death of your only sister, your only blood sister. Wicked man! Kai! Kai! Hi. I killed my sister. You just cannot continue like this. Maybe you should go tell your father what has happened. Puchi. Puchi, where do I start from? How do I tell my father this? What am I going to tell him? Puchi, I am broken. That's the more reason you would have slowed down when I was begging you to slow down. Now look at where we are. So my sister is gone. My only sister is gone. What do I do? Tell me, what do I do? Let us go and tell your father what has happened. I mean, there is no need standing here lamenting and weeping. Uchi, where do I start from? You, you, you've seen it? And I cost this. She cost it. I always tell you that that she's caused. But you, you believe me. Will you stop blaming Anne for crying out loud? I mean, if you've listened to me, all this wouldn't have happened. If you didn't go arrest her parents, obviously she wouldn't have come here with a gun. Maybe sometime you will learn from this. Maybe whenever a friend tells you something, Take the advice seriously. Let's go and tell your father what has happened. That's the only option.
afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, please, I'm looking for my friend that lived here 10 years ago. I, I just came back from Australia today. Okay. And why don't you call the person on the phone? I, I don't have a number. That's the problem. And uh, actually, I'm looking for my girlfriend who happens to be her best friend too. So I decided to come and see if she can help me locate her. Her name is Joanne. And who are you? My name is Blaze. Okay, excuse me. You can come with us. Oh, that's very kind. Thank you. Um, make yourself comfortable while I call her. Thank you very much. What is wrong with her? <clears throat> she lost a friend. Please. Anne is gone. She's dead. <gasps> what did you just say? They killed her. Who killed her? She, she was having issues with her husband. <laughs> then he sent the police after her. <laughs> they killed her by mistake. Oh no, no it can't be true. <laughs> oh, um, oh. <laughs> That's okay, please. <laughs> There's so much going on, going on around me There's so much happening around me There's so much confusion, so much commotion that could lead to destruction yeah. I did not ask for this war No, 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 no But I'm confronted by one By someone Who used to be the one for me Someone who meant Good day, Papa You're welcome, my son Thank you, Papa You're good day. Can it? Papa. The way you are looking so humbled and sober, it appears you listened to my suggestion and uh, went to the hospital to confirm that what I was saying is the truth. Am I right? Papa, I've done the biggest mistake of my life. I wish the ground would open and swallow me. Well, it will not be your biggest mistake if you hurriedly go now, seek your wife, and reconcile with her 
before she introduces your son to another man as his own son. Papa, I'm sorry. Well, you don't owe me any apology. You owe that to your wife. Go and look for her. And make sure you reconcile with her immediately. By the way, have you released our in-laws? Hey. Honestly, you need to get hold of yourself. If you ask me, we we'll just need to go back and tell the man the truth. How? How do I tell him that my only sister is dead? How? Didn't you see the disappointment on his face? Can't you see that the whole thing has left my father frail? I understand what you're saying. But we need to tell him. He's a man. He can bear it. How we just I... have to go back and bed. How do I start? And where do I start from? Huh? He needs to know the truth. I just, I, just, I just want to run away. I just feel like running away. Let's go back. I I'll find a way. Better still, let me tell him. Come on. So much betrayal around me, temptations and trials surround me. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I really don't know, I don't know what this is. Could this be, could this be the end? Oh, the beginning of the end Could this be, could this be the end Oh, the beginning of the end Oh, can it come get me? Oh, can it, oh, can it, oh, 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 can it, oh, can it come get me? Oh, can it, oh, can it, oh, can it, oh, oh, can it, oh, can it come get me? Oh, can it, 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 oh, can
What will I do? I don't know what to do. Papa, something has happened. Mm. Well, if you want to talk about it, you can go ahead. I'm all ears. But no matter how you look at it, you owe that woman your love and respect for the sacrifice she has made for you. No woman will be able to keep that kind of secret for the sake of love. Papa is not on my condition. Something worse than that has happened. Did anything happen to our in-laws that you locked up in the police cell? It's not our in-laws. Has anything happened to Anne? No. So, what happened now? Papa, I didn't even know that the whole mistake was something else. Hmm? They came to arrest her instead of Anne. Kine, you are confusing me. What are you talking about? Papa, I didn't ask them to torture her. I went to the police station and they told me that they tortured her and she died. Tortured who? Who died? I don't even know how to tell you this. I don't even know. Papa, please. You have to get hold of yourself, please. Please. Buti? What happened? Who, who died? Talk now! Papa, just like the police mistakenly arrested him, a girl instead of Anne. And, and, and then at the process, she was tortured and then she passed on. Hold of yourself, please. Joan, I will come back and see you. All right? Oh, can you do me a favor, please? What is it? Can you help me? bail her parents from the police cell. So, what are they doing in the police cell? Her husband got them arrested. So, where is the police station now? I heard it's in their village. Alright. I will do something about it. Alright? Oh, my regards. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is what they meant by if one finger is stained by oil. The other fingers are equally affected. <sighs> hmm. This is what Ken's stupidity has cost us. This could have been avoided, but my son decided to be stupid and stubborn. Okay. How can you allow yourself to be used by the devil? How can you cause your only sister this kind of painful death? Hi. Look at the kind of pains you've caused to this family. 
Look at the kind of pain you've caused us. Okay. You see, when he came to my house raving that he will kill his wife, he doesn't return his son. I pleaded with him. I asked him to calm down so that he wouldn't do something that he would regret in the future. If he had listened to me, he would have avoided all this. Hi. He is like the proverbial fly. He is like the proverbial goat that puts its head inside the water pot without realizing that it will get stuck in it. Can't you see I'm not in a good mood? What are you talking about? I keep asking you what the problem is, and you don't want to talk to me. What is it? How would I know what is in your mind? Tell me what is it? When I am sad, I don't like to talk about others. Oh, well, we are not here to talk about others. I am not ready to talk about others. I am here, let's talk about us. I want you to tell me, what happened to the money I gave to you? To invest in your goals? And the man you said was processing my papers, what happened? And what about them? I want to know how far he has gone. Listen, my sister believes I'm in Canada already. And I cannot continue to be hiding here forever. You have to understand me. The man is working on it. It will be ready soon. Oh, I said you go again. It will be ready soon. Soon, so it is what you keep telling me for months now. How am I sure this? Just tell me. I want to know. I said soon. You have to be patient. Oh, you should be patient indeed. Then uh, you're beginning to worry too much. Why won't I be worried? No, tell me, if you were the one, how would you feel? No, tell me. Okay, fine. What about the money I gave to you? Yes. The money. Penwell, are you going to turn into a bug simply because you lent me some money? Forgetting I've been feeding you for how long now and I haven't killed you. Where is this coming from? That is the truth. I'll give you the money, but you have to be patient. Patient when? Bella, when? When the money is complete. Oh! Not anymore. I am not happy anymore. I am not. Bella, you won't understand this. My people believe I'm in overseas already. Why are you doing this to me? Eh? Okay, tell me, if my sister sees me here, what will I tell her? Oh, you don't have to hide anymore. Because your sister is nowhere. What did you just say? I'm, I'm sorry. Your sister died today. I heard she was shot by the police when she wanted to shoot them. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I broke the news in a harsh way. My sister? You are lying, aren't you? How can I lie about something as sensitive as this? I'm not lying.
Anne, you should have listened to me. You should have waited for me. I had this feeling that this will happen. I had this feeling that I will not see you again. I've searched for you everywhere. I didn't see you at the sitting room, so I decided to come upstairs. Are you alright, honey? I'm fine. You look moody. I said I am fine. I brought you flour. We need to talk. I have good news. What else do you want to tell me, if not that you'll be traveling to Canada soon? Baby, I told you that I will come back and take you after six months. I'm not going there to look for work. I have a job there waiting for me already. Please. I'm getting married. What? You can't be serious. I thought you told me there's nothing going on between the both of you. I mean, you just met that guy. You can't just get married to him like that. I've made up my mind to marry him. Excuse me. Blaze, what's up? Why is your face looking like this? Anne wants to kill me. Kill you? Why? What happened? She says she's in love with another guy and that they are getting married very soon. Anne? Oh. She's getting married to whom? I don't know, Joan. Please help me talk to her. Calm down. Your love doctor is going to do a good job. Just hold on a minute. Let me go talk to her. I'll be right back. Okay? Relax. You're losing your face a bit. <laughs> Please. I'm sorry. Looks like her mind is made up. I'm sorry. First, that man caught a love shot. And then married her. And now killed her. I will make him pay for his sin. Bella, what did you see? Anne is dead. I think we've overgotten our revenge. We went too far. So are you going to blame me right now? How would I have known it would end like this? I feel so sad for our poor parents and our son. What about her brother? He's still in my house. Bella, can you hear yourself? He's still in your house? 
Don't you think it's high time you ask him to leave? Lars, you're being too mean for crying out loud. I mean, we have his money and there's no visa as I claim. This guy came to me with a mind of affection. He trusts me so much. Bella. So you're in love with him already? I gave you a simple assignment to do and you're already in love? This is not about love. What will be left of him if I tell him there is no visa? Oh, you're not even considering that? Are you a fool, Bella? Even if you're a fool, don't you think I have all this planned out? Listen to me. We are leaving this city for good. I've sold this place. First thing tomorrow morning, we're leaving to Lagos. And what happens when we get to Lagos? Our next destination is Ghana. I have to go now. You have to go where? To go and see my parents. They must be devastated right now. Bella, you're going nowhere. Your parents will be more devastated to see that you did not travel last week. So what do I do now? You have to calm down so we plan on what to do. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. I have betrayed my sister. What about my visa and my money? Everything will be set by weekend. You have to stop crying and be a man, okay? Let me get you a warm cup of tea. My son, ah. I cannot thank you enough. Hmm? Thank you very much. God bless you. It's all right, sir. I have spoken to the IG. They will get him arrested and possibly taken to court for harassment. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. I don't want that. You are trying to create a lot of stories. I don't want it. Let bygone be bygone, please, my son. We are peaceful people. Yes. We don't want trouble. Exactly. Let it just be. It's all right. You say so. Okay. Hey, please, tell my daughter to see me tomorrow. Oh? Who? Huh? Ah! 
Then, of course, <laughs> tell her we want to see her, that we're no longer angry with her. When last did you see her? She was here two days ago. Exactly. Yes. Oh, uh, I see. I will. Okay. I have to be on my way now. Okay. Thank you very much. Eh? Thank you so much. Right. Safe time. Eh? Take care of yourself. Thanks for coming. Huh? Why are you still looking sad? How will I know? But wait, oh, my mind is telling me that he's the real father of Kelechi. Just take a good look at him. Hmm? That was exactly what was in my mind. Hey, Jimmy. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait. See, we like this. Let me bring it up. Please be fast. I need hot water. I want to massage my ribs. Mom. Mom. Here's my baby. Why are we here? I've told you before. Mom. I want to leave this place. I want to go and see my daddy. You know, um, you may never see daddy again. What do you mean? Listen, if anything happens to mommy tomorrow, I want you to tell Auntie Joanne to take you to your real father. What are you saying? My baby. I'm so sorry to make you pass through this. Okay? I'm sorry to put you through all this. Okay, when will I go see Grandma? I'll take you to see Grandma. I promise. But not today. No, I want to see Grandma today. Mom? Are you not going to tell me how to take my revenge? And what revenge are you talking about? You think I'll forgive Anne for causing the death of my sister? Are you still blaming Anne over what you've done? You're the one responsible for her death. Tell yourself the truth. So it is true. Uh, Kai, you killed my sister. Tell me, what did she do to you? What are you talking about? I will make sure you go down in this town. I promise you that. Pen, what are you doing here? I taught you in Canada. 
I am not here to answer those questions. Of course you will answer those questions because you are one of their problems. How am I one of their problems? No, tell me how! Your sister gave you the document of the land that it comes. You are they. I don't know what you are talking about. The question is, why did you kill my sister? Where is this coming from? Bella told me everything. She said that Ken killed my sister. Anne is not dead. It's ego. Dummy. So she's alive. The way she... I don't know. I don't know. Then I don't believe you. I don't believe you. You are saying this to calm me down. But I will not listen to you. Can listen to me? I am coming back. And my coming back will be bloody. A bad bloody one for me. I will kill you. Where is this news of her death coming from? And what if this is true? I do not care if it is true. All I want is my son. Everybody is mad. Including you. You're mad. My son.
What is wrong? Why are you looking this terrible? I never knew. I never knew she would die like that. You never knew she would die like that. Who died? Didn't you hear? No. Hear about what? Ken killed Anne. Jesus Christ. Where is that coming from? It will interest you. Anne texted me this morning to tell me that she's fine. So what are you talking about? Who... Who died? Ken sent the police to go arrest her. But he mistook Ego for one. And then they arrested Ego, Ken's younger sister. How the process of torturing and questioning her. She passed on. I mean, she died. But certainly not Anne. So where are you getting this whole thing from? I have to go to the markets. Yeah. You know now, my favorite. Fabulous. <laughs> Good afternoon, Papa. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mama. Good afternoon. I've come with a broken heart to ask for forgiveness. I know that I've done so many things to bring shame to this family. After all the efforts you put into raising my brother and I, I've come to say that I'm sorry, Daddy. Get up, my daughter. Please get up. Stand up, huh? Stand up, sit down. <sighs> We have thought about everything and we have not seen any reason to reject nor condemn you forever because we know what you are in is a big dilemma. Yes. Uh, Kelechi. Yes, uh, go and drop your bag and your mommy's bag now. I will call you when I need you. 
Don't want Good boy. <laughs> My daughter. I will send for Ken's father and Ken to come with a doctor of their choice as to run the paternity test. But what you must do for me is to show Ken and his people the first DNA result that you have. I'll do just that, Daddy. Thank you, my daughter. That is exactly what I want. Hey, Kelly, you cannot come. It's okay, my lady. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, oh, one more. Grandpa. Yeah. Grandma. Mm -hmm. What is divorce? Tell me what is divorce. That is why I have come. We need to clear all this so that this whole turmoil and the fracas will end. My lord, I know that you are not aware of what has happened. I lost Ego, my daughter. What? When? Ken broke the terrible news to me. According to him, he contacted the police to arrest his wife. Rather than arresting the wife, they mistakenly arrested my daughter, Ego. In the process of torturing her, she died. Whoa. This is terrible. I'm so sorry. Hmm? We did not hear at all. And I believe my daughter did not hear about it too. Because she never mentioned this to us. My Elo. This is what you get when you have a fool as a son. Sorry for the loss. We will not wait till after her burial. Which burial are you talking about? Her burial now. The police refused to release her corpse to us. Again? They said they want to carry out autopsy on the corpse before they can release it. Hey. Hi. This is sad. Ken. My love, please, you have to take that out. Hmm? Ken. Hi. Ken. Look at what you've caused to us. So sorry. So sorry. <laughs> never said a word, not a word to me, before she died. <laughs> Ken took his only sister to slaughter. <laughs> hey. <sighs> oh, this is my fault. It's my fault and I'm so sorry. And I, I'm so sorry this is happening. Don't say that. Don't say that. It was never your fault. Never. <laughs> Look, I knew you meant well for my son and this family. That was why you <laughs> took it upon yourself to get a son for us. So how can you say it's your fault? Huh? <laughs> it's not your fault. 
Sambuji, how are you? Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. I'm sorry if I kept you all waiting. Um, are you the doctor? Yes. So can we? Where's the boy? Sit down first. Sit down. Thank you. Sir. I'm sure you are not on anybody's side. Anyway, when are we expecting the results? The results will be ready in five to seven working days. Um, I'm actually skeptical about this. How am I sure that there is no manipulation behind us? Milo, you don't need to worry. Hmm? So Deli would have sent him from the Ministry of Health. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, it's all right. Um, let us carry on. All right. Honey, mm -hmm. please go and call her. Okay. The doctor is here. Uh, let him take uh, Kelly inside and uh, collect the sample. What do I do? What will I do? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh, I don't know what to do. Yes. Hello? Hello, Bella? Yes. Bella, where are you? Huh? You're in the village? Oh, come on, Bella. You did not tell me you were going to the village. Uh, no, but I've been trying to reach you for three days now. Okay, fine. A quick one. Um, what about my visa and my money? Hello? Uh, hello? Are you there? What about my... Hello? Hi. Hello? <sighs> He's asking about his money and visa. What do I tell him? I've given him the right answer already. Before he knows what's going on, we're out of the country. Babe, I'm not comfortable here. Let's leave here and run to Ghana's plan, please. Calm down. Don't forget I'm the one in charge now. Alright? Let's just have fun, enjoy ourselves before we move. Alright? In fact, you know what? Call the bar, let them get anything for us. In fact, I think I 
be like, wait, let me do it myself. <laughs> I told you to relax. You have nothing to worry about. <laughs> okay, babe. Hello? Um, okay. Um, do you have anything? How are you? I'm fine. And where is your guy? I don't know where he is. What did you mean by you don't know where he is? He has not come here today. Ogala is no longer the owner of this shop. I don't understand. He has sold it out. When did this happen? I don't know where he sold it, but the new boss took over this place three days ago. Wait a minute. It's not be what I'm thinking. No. Doesn't mean that last ran away with my money after impregnated me. This can't be possible. Okay, let me. Dear customer, the MTN number you have dialed is not reachable at the moment. Not reachable. <sighs> okay, thank you. I have the result of the DNA test here. Uh, okay, doctor. Tell us what the result says. The result here shows that Mr. Ken is no way related to Kelly here. In other words, Mr. Ken is not the biological father of Kelly. Can I now be freely permitted to take care of my son without any disturbances? Doctor, my Oh, I have to leave now. I have to be on my way. There's so much going on, going on around me. There's so much happening. All right, I'll take my leave. There's so much confusion. So much commotion that could lead to destruction. Yeah. I did not ask for this war. No, 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 no. But I'm confronted by one. By someone who used to be the one for me. Someone who meant a lot to me. What have I gotten myself into? What is this? What is happening? What is this? Me, important. Me, and Kelechi is not my child. What is this? What the I want to worsen the whole matter. 
that I caused the death of my only sister. Hi! What is this? What is this? What is this? Hi. Good this be Oh no, 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 no. This is not happening. Hey. What do I do? <clears throat> and my daughter, now that it has happened this way, what is your next step? Um, after he gave Penel the land to sell, I still gave him some money. And the remaining money I had in my account, I invested it in my goods, which is yet to arrive. Although Pernell said if he gets to Canada, he would send back the money to me. Have you reached him since he traveled? Oh, no, no. I haven't been able to reach him. Let me say, asshole, if he is in Canada, why has he not reached us? Daddy, he will still reach us. I'm sure he's just trying to settle in. You know, as a new person, he would want to settle down first. <sighs> Please, my daughter, I don't want you to stay idle. And I don't want you to stay in this village. We pray that your goods will arrive safely. So that you will be doing something. But even uh, if... Penel sends the money to me before my goods arrive. I will still start up something reasonable with the money. Okay, what I will do, I will give you some money by next week. So that you will leave this village. You and your son will leave this village. Because this village is not a place to stay. We know how we survive here. Thank you, Nadi. Thank you. Which I wish I can turn the hands of time. I want my wife back. I really, really want my wife back. Can't you see? Can't you see I am just useless in this place without my wife? Ah, oh, just a piece of shit. You lost it? You lost it the very moment. You refused to heed to my advice. <sighs> All you should be talking about now is to go get your sister's body from the police and bury her. Because you really have to move on. What you don't understand. How can I live with the hurt? But she is hurting me. That another man somewhere will raise my child. A child that I've nurtured. All my life. A child you called your own. And another man somewhere will just come and start raising your child as his own. Could this be? Could this be the end? Or the beginning of the end? Could this be? Is a reality. 
is a reality before us. So you have to embrace it. Mm -mm. But you, you still don't understand. Take me to my wife. What will I do? Don't know what to do. I am ready to cut my veins open and make her to believe that I'm really sorry. You have some drinks so you understand what I mean. Lighten up yourself so you understand me perfectly. Mr. Stubborn, Chai, you have ears but refuse to hear. You know they fear. Hey, you don't even care. What is what you want to Chai, I like it all. Uh -huh. You have been advised, but you know, greed, you refuse to see. Say, now trouble you, they find you. Oh. Very soon you go get them double, double, oh, 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 your body they hot like fire. Your temper they hot, you know they tire. You they feel like lion. Hey. I don't know, please. Listen, and make sure you avoid anything that will bring you and get to fight or anything. I just want you to be on your own. And take care of your son. Hmm? It's okay, Papa. Okay. I promise there's not going to be any issues. And I'm not going to fight him again, no matter how hard he pushes me. That's my daughter. Good. When you get home, eh? Try and get in touch with your brother. Since he traveled, he has not called us. Exactly. Well, become more worried, please. It's fine, Mom. I'll do just that. Okay. Save Johnny, oh? Mm. Bye. 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 Oh, no, 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 no. Don't worry, it's heavy. Hmm? I'll carry it. Please, so be careful. Yeah. Um. Bye bye. Bye bye. Don't forget to. Okay. Bye bye. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Follow up. Ike Baba, as you go round and round, causing promotion. Very soon you go regret your action. Oh, 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 Agu, agu, Your agu. heart strong like iron. Mm. No forget to say. No forget to you. Papa, I am sorry. Papa, please forgive me. Oh, Pico from your heart, please. I, 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 I don't know what I was doing. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. I'm so sorry for everything I've, I've done to you, for all the pain and, and, and all the trauma I've caused you. Please. Please, Papa, please. I, I'm your son. No forget to say. Papa. Papa, Papa, touch again. I can't have. Why alone now? You go down. You they run, kitty, kitty. They run, kata, kata, kata. They jump up and down like a mother. They look for trouble, Chai, they make it trouble, Ah, onye so guo, or cho guo, very small. Ah, 
It's obvious. Bella does not want to give me my money. The one I will not take from her is when I notice that the visa thing is a scam. Good evening. Good afternoon, sir. Afternoon. Who are you and what are you doing here? Oh, okay. Um, I'm, I'm Bella's fiance. Yes. Yeah, she traveled to the village. Traveled to the village? Yes. Okay. But this is a stupid answer. My friend, pack your things and leave here so that the new tenant can move in. Uh, no, no, Bella can't do this to me. No, it's like there is a mix up here, sir. She can't. I, I am her fiance. She can't live here just like that. Do you want me to send my boss to beat you up before you leave here? What have I done to myself? Yeah? Where do I go from now? Where do I go to? Should I go back to my house? What will I tell my parents? What happened to the money? Yeah? That Allah is dead.
Don't tell me it's true. Don't tell me it's true. Don't tell me it's true, Dad. Where are you going? Let me forget about where I'm coming from. What I hear is better than a lie. Just tell me it's not. What how did it happen? Was it an accident? What are you talking about, for God's sake? Daddy, you mean nobody told you anything about Sister Anne? What are you saying? Nobody told us anything about her. What happened to her? How do I say this? How do I say this? Open your mouth and speak. You are getting me scared already. What is it? Oh, you won't understand. Someone told me that Sister Anne has... Uh -huh. Has? Has what? Sister Anne is dead. Uh -huh. Go and, go and bring water. Go and bring some water for it. What are you doing? Ah! Mom! Mom! Ah! Mom! Mom, please wake up. Mom, please. Please. Wake please, up for what? Please. Mom, please. Mom! What happened to her? But you don't know. The person did not tell me what happened to her. Then you will suffer. You will suffer. You will suffer. You will suffer again. You told me you were going to kill her. And now you have done that again. You will suffer. You will suffer. My only girl child. My only hope. Wait, Mom. Are you saying that her husband touched her? <laughs> it's not so. He had been tormenting my daughter over the week and now he has succeeded. Ah, and you will suffer. Suffer. Ken. Ken threatened to kill my sister. And finally, she did it. No. No! I won't watch that happen. No, I won't! Bena, do not step out of this compound. I will leave this compound. Anything that will happen, let it happen. I want to go and teach that useless man a lesson. And I said no! You might end up committing murder. Let me end up committing murder! I don't need to teach him a lesson. Nothing will stop me from it. Okay, you will suffer. You shouldn't have said that. Then you will suffer. You will suffer. Then you will suffer. Back my words. My only hope, okay. God, please wake me up from Ken. this dream, please. Ken! Ken! What happened to my sister? Start talking now. What happened to her? Ken! Okay, you try to go. Ah! Try it again. You will know who I am. Look at you. Come on, get out. Ken! 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 Who is here? Ken! To him. Ken! Hey. Papa, what happened to him? I don't know. I just came in now and saw him like this. Ken! 
But let's take him to hospital. Let's take him to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Carry, carry. Mm -hmm. Yes. When did this happen? That I, I have told you. I don't know. I just heard it from a friend last night. Last night? That can be possible. She sent me a test this morning saying that she is fine where she is. So if you are saying she died last night, I doubt it. Then call her on the phone. My daughter's phone is switched off. No, Anne cannot die. She is not dead. Let us go look for her. I say we last. Like I said, she said she is fine. Okay. Where do I start from at this age? Ken, you have killed me. Can you go? Now, I want you to tell me what exactly did I do? that prompted your decision to end this marriage. Tell me. But she has been a ton of my flesh. I want peace of mind. And she cannot give me the kind of peace I want. Hmm. Papa, he's lying, you know. He's lying. His anger is that Anne sold her land, her own land, though, and give the brother the money to travel to Bodoibo. You see that devil inside of you that is beating the drum of shame to take you nowhere. And is not going to leave this house. You heard that? I've heard. Good. And like I said, you will stay put. You are not going anywhere. Okay. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. Okay, Papa. Oh, what have I done? I should have forgiven him.
Papa, I am sorry. Papa, please forgive me. Oh? Pikobo Halum, from your heart, please. I, I, I don't know what I was doing. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. I'm so sorry for everything I've, I've done to you, for all the pain and, and, and all the trauma I've caused you. Please. Please, Papa, please. I, I'm your son. <laughs> Papa? Papa, Papa, church, can I get her? Well, I'm now, because. Afternoon, my darling. <laughs> I, I thought I would never see you again. Someone said you were shot by the police. I, I, I almost killed myself Bef before I, I was told that it was a case of mistaken identity. <sighs> yes, as you can see, I'm alive. <laughs> God, thank God. <laughs> God, I'm so glad you're back. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you know, the thing is, um, it's quite unfortunate that that terrible thing had to happen to Ego. I can't mourn her enough. So sad. It's really sad. But nevertheless, Oh, I get to see you. <laughs> oh, finally, finally. I get to hold you again. I get to see you. I know. <sighs> Come on. I get to <laughs> what is it? Joan, are you okay? Auntie Joan. What is it? Joan, are you good? I guess it's just the excitement. I've, I've been feeling really dizzy of late. No, 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 no. Juwan, you need to take care of your health. It's all about job, job, job for you. You should see a doctor. I, I will, I will, I will. I'm excited to see you. When did you come back? Where have you been? How have you been? Well, I came back last week. Um, we've been squatting, but we're good. Why are you still
Joanne, are you okay? What? What? I said, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Would you like some water? Anything? No, no, no. This is fine. Okay. You know you can talk to me about anything. What is it? I'm fine. You have nothing to... Okay. It's just... It's just, it's just that I, I, when I learned you were dead, it, it kind of affected me and I'm just not over it yet. I'm so sorry. Sorry. You know what? We would be spending a night with you. How about that? Yes, yes, yes. In fact, yes, I've missed you, so... <laughs> now I feel better. <laughs> what do you have to say? We're spending the night until Joanne. <laughs> okay. Good. It's always good to have you. You know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you don't want to join us? You can eat with us. No, that's for you. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Son, you are here. <clears throat> we need to talk. Okay, God. Your sister said you're supposed to be in Canada. What happened? No, she told you I, that I. I tried everything. It seems someone is projecting evil against my life. I don't understand. What I'm trying to say is that it, it didn't work. Everything they gave to me was fake. So what you are telling me now is that all the money that your sister invested on your travel is a waste. Or if you not That I tried. It wasn't easy for me, honestly. Uh, I, I think he's spiritual. That I need prayers. Prayers. I need prayers. Prayers. Aunt told me she gave you some money to keep. Where is it? Hi, that is what I'm talking about. The devil hates me. What brings the devil into this discussion now? Are you saying that the devil took away the money from you or the money is fake? That everything is gone. Everything is gone. I, I, I was duped. What? Now listen to me. If you don't bring back that money tomorrow, count yourself out of this family. You will be disowned. You will cease to be my son. Read my lips. I'm not fine. Where can I meet you? We need to talk. You're out of town. No. It's not something I can say over the phone. Oh. 
Okay. Fine. I'm pregnant. Did you hear me? I said I'm pregnant. Hello? 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 Can we talk about it? About what? Everything. About what is eating you up. Is anyone hurting you? No, it's uh, it's not something bad. I'm fine. Everything is fine. Who is responsible? You noticed. Do this. It's okay. It's fine. All right. Everything is going to be all right. You know, life is full of ups and downs. You remember my story with Ken? Bad pool cats. Timmy J. Yaga. Zion. Jeezy. Oh, yeah, huh? Yeah. Living large. Balancing in my car, playing music, meaning what? Hey, whoa, madam, sorry, I didn't even know it's your car. So what nonsense! What about the infantry? Where's the manager? Manager! Sorry about that. Manager! Who is this little boy? Sitting in my car playing music. Without, without respect, I brought my car here to be washed. Not for him to play music in my car. Madam, I have said I'm sorry. Just that I have passion for music, okay? That's why you guys go around stealing my people's cars. Thieves! Please, madam, you not do it again. Nonsense! I brought my car here and you, 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 you had the effort to, to sell it me and so play music. I, 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 have, I have this thing, passion for music. That's, I'm, Who is your madam? I'm sorry. Nonsense! How much is the money? You can forget about the money. It's okay. Just go with the money. That's your money. If you try this next time, what I'll do to you, you won't like it. My keys. Let me have my car key. Can you afford one? Little boy. Of anger, you've forgotten your 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 your, your ATM card. Yeah. Of course. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done it before. I don't know what's wrong with my network. Mm -hmm. I'll just try the debit card first. I'm gonna use the debit card to try it. Oh yeah, sure. I'm sure it's going to work. now what's going on what is it what wait let me call you back hold on what happened hey if this online boy see my atm i am finished what where did you, where did you leave it i i used it at the time gallery before i went to pick my car from the car wash okay did, did you check your car Oh my god, it's not in my car. I put it in my handbag. I'm very sure. I left it in here. Okay, okay. Just, okay. Oh. Calm, calm down, calm down, calm down. There's something you can do. Pick up your phone, call the customer service, and have it blocked. It's true. Yeah. Yes, because if this online boy see my debit card, I am finished. I have a lot of money in there. Calm down. Make sure you follow all oh. the instructions. Calm down. It's going to take forever to pick it. But that's so wrong. I didn't get to pick it right away. And you're not picking. You just. Oh, I'm Good morning. Good morning, madam. Yes, please. Do you see any debit card? No, I do not. Do you misplace it? Yes. I, I used it before coming to this place. I I'm sure I... I don't know. I, f I, f I feel like... I have to quickly rush to the bank and block it. Today is Saturday. You can use the code and block it. Do you know the code? No, I do not. But my boy knows. <laughs> Karen! Karen! Uh -huh. Huh. I'm, I'm, I'm not touching her cow. I'm not touching it though. I beg. There's a situation here. What? She lost her debit card. So and I want you to help her for a code to block the account. Is it an access ATM card? Yes, yes. Did you see it? All done. Check if your money is intact or check your money before yeah. you call me a thief again. Check your money. You are lucky. Thank you. Hold on. You can have this. It's a token of my appreciation. Thank you so much. I don't think I need it. Like, I would I, have, I would have dealt with you with your ATM card if I need the money. I'll just go there and finish all your money. I know. If you were a bad boy, you would have taken all my money. Of course, I know that. Look, I'm sorry about the way I spoke to you yesterday. I'm sorry about the ad bust. I was upset already because someone annoyed me at the site. But I'm sorry about that. Please have this. I said I don't need it. Thank you. I know you need it. You have needs. Take it. Madam, I would have gone to ATM and finished all your money. Okay? So I don't need it. Thank you.
good evening, Anne. Can you quit acting like a lesbian? Where are you headed? I'm going to Pipeline. Have a nice day. Pipeline? Yes. Is that where you come from every day? Yes. Any problem? Oh, that's pretty far. Okay. Let me drop you. Don't, don't bother yourself. I can walk. Okay? Don't just worry yourself. Thank you. No, you don't have to stress. I can drop you. Okay? Please. Let, let me tell you the truth. I don't like you. Yes, I don't like women that shout at men. I don't like you. Uh -huh. Good morning, madam. Yes. Good morning. Please, I'm looking for that boy. He did not come today. I heard that my father is sick, so he went to the village. Oh, that's so sad. Where is he from? I don't know, but he's not far from the town. Hey, what is that? Please, I need your help. Okay. Can I see your side, please? Go. Um, manager. Please, I need 10k to go save my father's life. My father is dying now. Biko, I need 10k. Oh? But I gave you 10,000 last month. I know. Just, I haven't paid back. I know. Just help me. Maybe you take it from my salary. Oh, Biko. I can't help you. Ah, manager. Take it from my salary, please. Sorry for the interruption. Excuse me. What's the problem? The father is sick. And he needs some money to take my father to the hospital. Sorry about that. How much are we talking about? It's just 10k. 10,000 naira. This is for you. Okay. naira. Use it and take your father to a good hospital. Alright? Hey, thank you so much. May God bless you. It's nothing. Manager, give me. So, sorry. Um, where are you from? Amafo. Amafo? Yes, Imebo. That is my town. Oh my goodness, what a small world. Amafo. Wow. Yes. What's your father's name? Oh, uh, no, Oh, okay. Yes. Do you know him? Oh, no, 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 no. But I'll ask my father. Okay, just watch, watch. I'm still Oh, thank you.
Good afternoon, ma. Yes, afternoon, please. Um, I'm looking for someone. Auntie, who are you looking for? He's the... Yes, he's the son of one Mr. Anonuju. He works in a car wash. Ken! Yes, that is me. Ken, that's my brother. Is there any problem? Oh, no, no problem. I just want to see him. He's in the hospital with my father. Uh, okay, can you take me there, please? Sure. Okay. She's coming. Mm -hmm. Hello? Juliet? Hey, yes, yes, I'm in the hospital. I'm so happy. Hmm. A lady came from the city looking for my brother. She paid for the operation. In fact, she cleared all the bills. I'm so happy. Yes. Ha. God bless her for me. Amen. Ha. I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll talk to you later. Yeah. I'll talk to you. Bye-bye. Hey, God, thank you. God, thank you. Thank you. My daughter, what can I say? Thank you very much for saving my life. I mean, it is not easy in this very hard economy. For somebody to bring out such a huge amount of money just to save someone's life. May your pocket never run dry. Amen. Amen. <laughs> um, Ken. I suggest you change your line of business. And um, start up something you think will be lucrative. I'll give you some money. Uh. You've actually done enough already. <laughs> Thank you. It's nothing. I mean, God has blessed me, so I have to bless others. Mm. I'd give you 500,000 Naira. And that's just for a startup. Within the month, I will still add up something for you. Oh. Hi. My daughter. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. Thank Look you. Here. You are a very good woman. You are very nice. <laughs> My God will continue to bless you. Amen. Amen. Hey. Ego. Mm. Auntie, you'd have to go back to school. Get a degree and then I'll help you get a job. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll sponsor you. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Thank you so much, Auntie. May God increase your words. Amen. <laughs> Okay, I'd have to be on my way. I need to see my father before getting back to work. Uh, it's all right. When you get home, tell your father that Ononuju um, sends his regards. Okay? Here and here. All right. Ken, mm -hmm. call me tomorrow. Uh, I'll do that. Stop, stop. <laughs> all right. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 Where did you say you met her? Hi. At our car wash show. She used to come and wash her car there. Hey, this woman is nice, oh. Very nice. Look, now, what you need to do now is to sit down and plan properly. Mm. Decide on the line of business you want to do. You know, this kind of opportunity is rare. Mm. It comes once in a lifetime, okay? Uh, I think I'll start with food stops first. I'll start in the street. Okay. Yes, at least 500,000 can go a long way. That is big money. Mm. Hey! 500,000. Yeah. As for me, I'll go and dust my wayek results and also buy my jam form. At least it's not too late to go back to the university. Mm -hmm. ah, come ah. on, my daughter. <laughs> mm. Nothing is ever too late in this life. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay, Papa. I said it. 
I said, God will remember us. Yes. And now God has remembered us. I'm so happy. So yeah. finally, I'm going back to school. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Papa, let me go and get you your food. Forget about food, I'll wait later. This this news is enough food for me. In fact, my stomach is filled now. My son, congratulations. <laughs> Check me. <laughs> <laughs> but what is in your mind? This is why you are laughing. The I way, saw, I the saw way you, you were looking, looking at me. I, I saw the way you were looking at me. <laughs> um, I want to thank you for everything you've done for me. For changing my life. You know, my business is really doing well. I, I, th I think I need to rent another show. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. You are a very hardworking man. And if you continue this way, you will be bigger than you can ever imagine. Thank you. Thank you so much. My sister sent her regards. And I think her matrix should be on Saturday. Oh, that's good. We're going to make her happy. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate I have to go back to the shop now. Um, well, I actually called you here because I want us to spend time together and talk about us. You want us to talk about us? I want mean, us to talk about us. Mm -hmm. You know, hmm. I don't want it to look as if I'm being too forward, you know. <laughs> hey. hmm. This thing has been on my mind though. Hey. <laughs> hmm. Sorry, sorry about that. At the end, what did I get? Mental torture, hatred, lies. Men are very, very wicked. They are wicked because we, we've made them feel that we are nothing without them. It's really sad. So sad. So, I want you to take it easy on yourself. Be fine. Have your baby and take care of your child yourself. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <coughs> it's okay. Chuan, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Are you ready to tell me where the money is? Mama, I'm not feeling too well. I'm not feeling too well. I have time for three. Don't you stop? Just, just imagine first son, the only son. Look at what you have done to yourself. Huh? Mama, Mama, please, I'm sorry. Please, I'm not feeling fine. Please. 
<laughs> See, I will not ask you again. Where's the money? Oh yeah, fuck it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey! Big a boom. You want to kill me? You see it? They are not like a rabbit. They want to kill you. You will not stop. You will not stop. Ha! Hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh. There's so much going on, going on around me. There's so much breakfast is ready. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. There's so much. Oh. oh. Excuse me. I did not ask for this war. No, 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 no. But I'm confronted by one. By someone who used to be the one for me. Someone who meant a lot to me. Are you serious about what he said over the phone? Yes. But we can't talk about it right now. I'm not in the mood. Why not? I mean, why can't we talk about it now? Because it's not safe to talk about it here. What are you saying? Are we kids that we cannot face the result of our actions? Or do you think that I cannot take care of the baby? That's not what I'm saying. Then let's talk about it now. This is the right time for my healing, Joanne. Since Anne is dead, let's go ahead and get married. We cannot get married. We can't. Look. Don't you have feeling for me? Look, I came here fully prepared. Please, can you just go leave? We'll talk about all this. Please, Joanne. Marry me. Heal me, Joanne, please. Marry me. Blades. Anne. Wait a minute. Are you the one she's pregnant for? I thought you were dead. I see. Anne. Don't touch me. You owe me no explanation. Anne. Don't bother. It's not what you think, Anne. <laughs> Anne. Why would you lie to me? 
I didn't lie to you. I mean, they mistook someone else for her. Oh my goodness! Understand. How can for God where he started from? Ken has placed a heavy burden that is heavier than me on my shoulders. I am too old for this. My daughter, what can I say? Thank you very much for saving my life. Hmm? I mean, it is not easy in this very hard economy for somebody to bring out such a huge amount of money just to save someone's life. May your pocket never run dry. Amen. Amen. <laughs> um, Ken, I suggest you change your line of business and um, start up something you think will be lucrative. I'll give you some money. Ah. You've actually done enough already. <laughs> Thank you. It's nothing. I mean, God has blessed me, so I have to bless others. Hmm. I'd give you 500,000 Naira. And that's just for a startup. Within the month, I will still add up something for you. Oh. Hi. My daughter. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. Thank Look, you. Uh, you are a very good woman. You are very nice. <laughs> My God will continue to bless you. Amen. Amen. Hey. Ego. Mm. And see, you'd have to go back to school. Get a degree. And then I help you get a job. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll sponsor you. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Thank you so much, Auntie. May God increase your words. Amen. <laughs> okay, I'd have to be on my way. I need to see my father before getting back to work. Uh, it's all right. When you get home, tell your father that Ononuju um, sends his regards. Okay? Hear it here. All right. Ken, mm -hmm. call me tomorrow. I'll do that. Stop, stop. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye bye. 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 Hey. 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 Very nice. Look, now, what you need to do now is to sit down and plan properly. Mm. Decide on the line of business you want to do. You know, this kind of opportunity is rare. Mm. It comes once in a lifetime, okay? Uh, I think I'll start with food stops first. I'll start in the street. Okay. Yes, at least 500,000 can go a long way. That is big money. Mm. Hey! Five hundred thousand. Yeah. As for me, I'll go and dust my wayek results and also buy my jam form. At least it's not too late to go back to the university. Mm -hmm. ah, come ah. on, my daughter. <laughs> mm. Nothing is ever too late in this life. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay, Papa. I said it. <laughs> I said God will remember us. Yes, and now uh, God has remembered us. I'm so happy. So yeah. finally, I'm going back to school. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> hey, hey, Papa, hey. let me go and get you your food. Forget about food. I'll eat later. This, this news is enough food for me. In fact, my stomach is filled now. My son, <laughs> congratulations. Check me. <laughs> <Good> <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs>
But well, what is in your mind? This is why you are laughing. You understand. I, the way, I the saw way you were looking at me. I, I saw the way you were looking at me. <laughs> Ken has placed a heavy body that is heavier than me on my shoulders. I am too old for this. Daddy. Why are you sounding this way? Are you alright? Who's crying in the background? Penno sent me a message. Oh, thank goodness. I'll be there right away. Just give me a few minutes, I'll be there. Okay, Daddy. Ma. <sighs> what are we going to? We're going to see Grandpa. Which of them? We're going to see my father. Mom, I'm tired. I'm tired of going round. I'm tired of going everywhere. My baby. I'm so sorry for making you go through this. Alright? Alright, Mom. Moreover, real men don't get tired. Alright. And look, Uncle Peniel sent us some money. So we're going to use that money to make our lives comfortable. Okay. Let's look at our bags. <laughs> I shouldn't have let this happen. Please, Joan. I can take care of you and my child. I can take care of my own child. Why are you doing this? Anne has gone through so much of late. But you just hurt her so. Do I go crawling on my knees when you are carrying my child? Please, you will not understand. What won't I understand? I need you more than you need me right now. So please, go take care of her and your son. And I will take care of raising my own child. What, what son are you talking about? You're kidding me, right? That boy with her is your real son. What? She, she got pregnant after visiting you in Toronto. Oh. Oh my God.
God, please forgive me. I know I have not prayed for a long time. Please save my soul. He can be impotent. But please, let him live for me. I cannot afford to bury two of my children at the same time. God, please help me hear my prayer. Papa. Yes, Thank you so much. You have tried your best. I have surrendered to fate. You see, we thank God he's alive. Yes. You mean my soul is alive? Yes, Papa. Ooh. He's conscious now. Oh, thank God. Thank God. My son, I thank you so much. You will have help anytime you need it. Amen. Oh. Amen. Thank God. Well, Papa, I say let me rush and then break the news to you. Okay. I'm rushing to town to get something, but I'll soon be back. Look, in that case, eh, let me go with you. Eh? I, I will stop by the hospital. Papa, not to worry, eh? Don't worry yourself. Let me get what I want to get in town. I'll come back and I'll take you myself to the hospital. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you. you take care of I'm coming. Eh? Yeah. Hey, God. Ken is alive. Hey! Yeah. There's so much going on, going on around me There's so much happening around me Hey son, how are you? I'm fine Hey son, mommy She's there Did you hear from Penel? Has he sent my money? Because I need to leave this country with my son. Has he sent it? <coughs> For a moment. You look worried. Eh? Is everything all right? Is he not your brother? He has seen my brother. Is he okay? What's wrong with him? Call first. Just call. So much betrayal around me, temptations and trials surround me. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I really don't know. I don't know what this is. Could this be? Could this be the end? Or the beginning of the end Could this be Could this be the end What is going on here? Mom Penwell Dad What's going on? Yeah, in here, talk to your sister Penwell What's going on? When did you come back? Sister, sister, I'm sorry. Sorry about what? Were you deported? 
Deported from where? He has never left this country. He has been with his girlfriend all this while. Chimo. Now she deported. Which girlfriend? Draw now. Penwell. Where is my money? Oh, oh, I have asked him about this money severally, but he could not give me a tangible answer. That is why I called the vigilante group to tie him like this. You can call the police to pick him. Maybe when he's there, he will tell us what he did with your money. Mpamam. That is beating so fast. Just look at it. Hello. Where is my car? Where is the money you made from selling my hair? Hi. This is the, I'm so sorry. This is, this is Bella that deceived me. She gave me a fake visa. I'm sorry. I say. You mean you've been in this country? You're Nigeria with me all this while. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Which Bella are we talking about? Penwell! So you've been with that evil genius called Bella? Someone you knew almost poisoned me because I refused to lend her some money? Huh? Sister, I'm sorry. I didn't know Bella is this evil. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey. Do you realize I have gone through hell because of you? I've been through hell in my marriage and everything because I tried to help my brother to get a better life. Oh my god, I'm finished! I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. Please. So much commotion that could lead to destruction. I did not ask for this war. No, 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 but I'm confused. You're my son. By one. By you are so adorable. You oh. used to be the one for me. Someone who meant a lot to me. I get it, come get me. Oh, yeah. Don't touch my son! Don't touch my son! Anne, please calm down. I have been looking for you everywhere. I gave up when they told me you were dead. You can ask your father. I was here once, but I didn't want to tell them what I heard. Please, Anne. What do you want from a broken woman? Please, let me fix this broken woman as soon as I can. What happens to Joan? You are more important to me than anything else, Anne. Yes. You have always been on my mind all these years, Anne. Please. Should you not tell her now about Ken? How do you want us to break such a bad news to her with her condition? Please hold it. I think we should tell her now so that she will bear the pain at the same time. Yes. Don't try anything stupid here, woman. Because I will not take it lightly with you. Okay, now. When do you want us to tell her? What is wrong with you, woman? Can't you hold yourself? 
this is delicate situation. So don't make things worse for her. It has not been easy for that girl. I'm sorry, dear. But I'm just being anxious. That's it. No, this is not time to be anxious. What is all this? This is not why I am here. Can you just go back to wherever you're coming from? I will make it up to you, please. I will make sure you recover all your losses. I don't need your help. Please, Anne. Please. I love you so much. Don't please. touch me. I can't live without you, Anne. Please. <laughs> I love you so much, please. <gasps> When one's at the bed, survives the assault from the weaver bed, it shouldn't deceive itself that it's swifter than the weaver bed. It is its chi in his benevolence that spared its life. I am stupid. Stop. I am mad. Stop. I am this. foolish. Stop. I'm finished. Please, Kane, stop this. Stop it. Remember what the doctor said to you. That you are the risk of having internal bleeding when you do any strenuous thing. Stop. I'm foolish. It's okay. I, I'm, 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 I'm mad. I'm useless. Me. right time. Ay, ay, ay. Ay. 
so stupid. I'm so stupid. I'm so, I'm so I. Mm -mm. I. Hey. Why are you doing this? Will you stop this? Stop this. How long will you continue like this? You're going too far with this, and it makes me upset. Let me mourn my stupidity. Do you know how I'm feeling deep inside of me? I am roasting inside. I'm hurting. I'm shattered. I'm broken. I'm finished. I'm, I'm stupid. Eh? I understand how you feel. Honestly, I do. But you don't have to continue like this. Please, I beg of you. Stand up so you go have a bath. Just leave me the way I am. I like the way I am. I'm fine. I'm fine with this. I'm fine the way I am. She's here. Ah, eh? Said she's, she's here. here. She's here? Yes. Has she forgiven me? Come find out yourself. Maybe you ask her that yourself. Okay, let's go. If she's not here, I will make sure I flog the hell out of you. Ego. Ego. I've been saved, Papa. I've been saved. Ego, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's fine. Hey! My daughter, come, come, come. <laughs> oh. This wicked world almost claimed my happiness. I'm sorry, Papa. I almost died. Sorry. Bro, I'm sorry. Come, 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 come. Let's go. please I know you've been through hell but I'm here now please let's join hands together and change things for good I will make sure you don't cry again please ma just go to Joanne and her unborn baby I will heal time will heal me please Anne. Please. Um, I just need you to be happy again. Please. I've always told you I want to become a single mother. I'll be happy raising my child. Bless my son. Why not give her some time to clear her head? 
Huh? I just want them to come with me so I can spend some time with them. I will make sure you don't cry again, and please. This is the only thing that will make me happy. Besides, Kelich is not your son. His biological father is not a Nigerian. What? I paid someone to do this. Huh? Yes. I wish you both well. Goodbye. Sweetheart, are you still angry with me? I don't know what I am at the moment. Please, I'm sorry. I was confused at some point. Please forgive me. And that's a sign. That's a sign that you will leave me someday. No, I will never leave you. Fine. You won't leave me, right? Yes. Okay. Let's say I believe you. What would you have done if she had accepted you? Uh, 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 should I, is it... You see? You don't have anything to say. <sighs> Please. I promise I will never leave you. Please. Please. I'm sorry. Please. You promise you won't leave me? Yes, I promise. I will never leave you. Ever? Yes. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Um, my daughter, so huh? where have you been all this while? Um, Papa, Ego came to me and, and she told me about her dream. I was scared, but then we have to find a way to solve it. Honestly, I don't know what is happening between my brother and his wife. I don't know either. I don't. I had a dream about them. In the dream, I saw my brother planting on a rock. I went to see a pastor. And the pastor prophesied to me that it is a bad dream. That my brother might leave his marriage with nothing. He also said that if nothing is being done about it, something bad might happen. I've tried talking to Ken over time. But it seems his mind is made up. 
Do you know how many times I've called and sent him series of text messages? And he ignored all of them. I really do not know what to do anymore. I'm really worried. Really, very worried. My concern is about my father. I'm really concerned about his health. I'll keep trying. Oh yes. I I just have to keep trying. Yeah. You've really tried your best. Thank you for all you've been doing. I really appreciate. You're welcome. Oh, I'm hungry. Do you have anything in the house? Sure. Don't tell me it's noodles, because I will not eat noodles. Go to the kitchen and find yourself. Hmm. Hmm. I'm suspecting you, but let me just go. <laughs> Coming back. Mm -hmm. oh. So, after everything, Papa said that Ken still insisted that he wants a divorce. Why? If I were on. I would have just forget about this whole thing and move on. I mean, this whole thing is... I would have just moved on and looked for peace elsewhere. This whole thing is not worth it at all. It's really crazy. Uh, I'm concerned about Kelechi. I know my brother. I know that he cannot take care of that boy. I'm concerned about his mental health. The poor boy don't even know what is going on. I'm concerned too, but we all have tried. We all have tried. This will work. How would I know? You came up with this whole idea. It will work. I believe it will work. All you need to do for me is always visit my father so that he won't feel depressed. Please. What will you gain from this fake news? I just want Ken to come back to his senses. <laughs> I'm not sure. Because Ken, your brother, is acting like one who is under his spell. And if he is, what makes you think this can hold him down? It will. It will hold him down. I, I believe. I don't know, but I believe it will. Let's sit back and watch. What is it? You can't believe what is happening right now. 
Talk to me. What is it? Ken. Your brother is not the biological father of Kelechi. No way. The DNA test said otherwise. What? I am still in shock. How is that possible? The worst of it is that Ken, your brother, is important. No way. <sighs> if Ken is not the biological father of Kelechi, is and has not said anything as a matter of fact they said the quack doctor that did the surgery for him ruined his manhood oh. I, I just can't believe this oh. this is too heavy for oh, god damn it where is Ken now She'll be in the village. No, no, Papa must be heartbroken. So I, I think you have to leave this place and go stay with your father. Your father needs you now. So this is the reason. And he refused us to see the doctor after the surgery. Let me ask you a question. Do you think that what Anne did is wrong? I think she did the right thing. I think she did this to save my brother's face. I also think she did it for him, for us. She knows that my brother is the only son of my father. Oh. I do not know what to say. Honestly, I've lost it. I do not know what to say. Because if Cain have listened to me from the onset, this wouldn't have gotten to this point. Can you imagine the humiliation? I know wherever Ken is now, he will wish he could turn back the hands of time. It's too late. I'm so sad right now. I'm so sad. The worst moment of my life is to watch your father in deep pains when he was told you're dead. I'm scared. Honestly, I'm scared. What, what if he dies? What if he dies as a result of heart attack? What? See, that is why I asked you to always check on him. I begged you. You do not understand. Honestly, you do not understand what I'm talking about. I cannot watch your father die in pains when I know the truth. Do you know I can be jailed for this? No. Nothing will happen to you. How? Oh. The officer who helped us actualize this knows my intention. So please, do not be scared. Oh, honestly, I think it's high time you come out of this, this, this fake, this fake dead stuff. It's not working at all. I mean, you are right. The idea of this whole thing is useless. Ken failed me. 
Kent failed us. What is the point? Your father. Your father is in the shadow of himself. Ken, your brother, as I speak, is almost mentally deranged. This whole thing is certainly not working out. I think I need to go. I need to leave now. I need to see my father. I don't want anything to happen to him. I need to go. Honestly, you need to. You really need to go. Yes. I need to go. That was what happened, Papa. I thank God you didn't collapse along the line. I'm sorry, Papa. I was scared. But you, my son, I must thank you. You have done a lot. So I must thank you for being with us all through this trying period. Thank you so much. You are a good man and uh, God will bless you for it. <sighs> Papa, I know what I did was dangerous. But I did what I did to see if I could calm the tension. Come on. No need for you to talk anymore. Hmm? It's okay. Alright? No need to explain. Thank you, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> so, brother, mm -hmm. where is your wife? Uh, she's, um, I... You can see that he's Tamari. He eventually divorced his wife. Yes. And all the advice I gave to him fell on deaf ears. Brother, we tried everything for you not to send your wife away. After all, she did nothing to you. She has been the one taking care of you and Kelechi for years. No man in his right senses will chase a woman who has sacrificed everything for him to be happy. Um, Ego, I must tell you, a lot has happened. A lot. Okay, so there's no need talking about them now. Just let it be. Papa, I need to see Anne. Nobody knows where she is. I will go to her father's house. Her father will tell me where she is. Bucci, please, take me to her father's house. Can I come with you? If you like. Bucci, please.
sister. Why did you do this to me? Sister, your only sister. Sister, 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 please don't kill me, please. Was there anything you asked of me while you were in the university that I did not do for you? I gave you my first salary when you misplaced the money that he gave to you for your school fees. Is there anything you have ever asked from me that I did not do for you? <laughs> you have done everything for me. I'm sorry. If you spare my life, I will make it up to you, please. Sorry, sister, please. My marriage crumbled because of you. Begging you, I am your mother. Please, please forgive him. Biko, drop the knife, please. He is your only brother. Ne, you will make money. You will make more money. That's the truth. He is your only brother. It's all you have in the whole wide world. Please, I'm begging you. Oh, please, 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 dear, please, 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 Biko, Biko, oh. Biko, 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 I'm begging you. No! Sorry, sister. I'm begging you, please. Please, 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 I beg you, I beg you. I beg you. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Okwagi? Oh. Okwagi? Oh, it's enough, it's enough, it's enough. Calm down. Sister, so sorry. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Oh. Calm down. Just calm down. He's your brother. He's all you have. He's your only brother. You make more money. Don't worry about it. Oh? Biko. Please forgive me. Please. I'm begging you. Please calm down. Where is Bella? Because she has to pay for everything. Where is she? She... She left the country with Lars. Oh my goodness. Lars? Yes. So this is where the whole flame erupted from? Sorry, sister, I'm sorry.
Ego! Yeah, it's me. Ego! <laughs> You're alive! Yes, I was never dead. <laughs> Kelechi, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Where is my bicycle? Oh, my bad. I forgot. But when you come to the house, you ride it home. Okay, thank you. Did you, you miss Auntie? Yes, I did. That's my Ego, boy. you're alive. Yes. Ego. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> So good to see you. Same here. Same here. I really missed you. I missed you too. What are you doing here? What are you doing in my father's compound? Let me sound this clear to you. There is no ties binding you and I ever again. So I will suggest you leave because I am not going to listen to any rubbish you have to say. Anne, please calm down. Forgive my brother. If you leave him, our lineage will close. He will be useless. Please forgive him, I beg you. Please. I know you're here because you've gone to the hospital and you've heard the truth. Well, there is no way I am going to give you another man's child. No. Please. Please forgive him. I beg you. You can do this because of his father. I mean, Papa is waiting for you to come back home with us. I beg of you. Well, Ken became my enemy the moment he looked me in the eye and called me a woman without a womb. He became my enemy the moment he sent me out of the house. And we are going to remain enemies until the end of time. Please, I beg of you. You see, your worst enemy now is Bella. I learned she dipped Peno. Your brother, please forgive him. I beg of you. My daughter, please forgive him. Oh? We are told in the Bible to forgive so that we can also be forgiven. If we forgive our neighbors, God will also forgive us our sins. Have mercy, forgive him. Oh, please. I beg you. Kelechi, where are you going to? Kelechi, Kele Kele wait! wait. Mm -hmm. Where do we go now? Don't worry. I'll take you home. No. Okay? That is not my home. Where is my home? I'm going to take you where you'll be happy. To our new home. Alright? I want to run away. No! You can't run away. Mommy loves you. If mommy loves me, she won't make me scared. I'm scared. Oh, my darling, my baby, you don't have to be scared. Okay, everything will be fine. Everything is going to be all right. Come here. Come. Come. It's okay.
Where is your brother? He's still there. Anne has refused to forgive him. But I understand how she feels. Her brother is even making the whole matter worse. Can you take me to the father's house? Papa, I just told you that she's still angry. Let's just allow her to be for now. When her anger comes, we can go see her tomorrow or next. Please. Hey, Godi. Papa. I want you to take me there now. I want to talk to her. Uh, uh, and Papa, please, just like what she said. Let's, I know you will go there, but not now. Let's give her some time to cool off. Then we can go see her later, please. I'm going there now. right now. Ah. Tink, 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 tink. Ah. Milo. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, Milo. Uh, where is uh, Anne? <clears throat> Milo. Anne and her son are inside. They locked up the door and they refused to open for anyone. Really? should be at the back of the house. Uh, okay, that case, I'll be back. Hmm? I don't think there's any need for you to come back. Go and take your son now because I don't want to see him again in my compound. Look, Milo, I know you are a very good man. I know you will not allow my ladies to be truncated. Huh? Like I said, I'll be back. Can I say something? Say anything you want to say, but don't tell me to go and beg Am. I think we have you have to talk to your daughter. Because this man is a good man. And you think there's any need for that? Allah can to reap what he has sown. To go back to the city. I have a lot to clear on my table. 
What of your brother? Are you going to forget about him? Baba, I cannot lose my job because of him. When we were all warning him to leave his wife, he did not listen to us. Egodi, you are right. Okay? We know he has made a terrible mistake. But we cannot abandon him. Then let his mistake teach him a bitter lesson. If Anne finally decides to forgive him, then he will learn how to respect a woman. It's all right. Um, you go well. Huh? Well, um, Papa, I don't think leaving him alone is a good idea. Yes. Well, I don't think so. Since he survived the fake news of my death, I believe he can survive anything. Please, let's go, Buchi. Papa, take care of yourself. I'm leaving. And my daughter, I want to thank you. I want to thank you very much for not allowing me to die before my time. Papa, please. Please. I'm so sorry for putting you through this pain. I'm sorry. My daughter, get up. Get up. Stand up. Okay? Sit down. Um, and you're welcome back, okay? I'm so happy that you're back. I'm sure by now, both of you must have learned the seventh rule of love. Do you know what that is? Endurance. Yes, in every marriage, there must be endurance. Okay? Papa, thank you so much. You're welcome. My boy, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> I want some palm wine. Palm wine? Ah, no. Look, palm wine is for adults, not for children, okay? Okay. Now, this is Coke, all right? Children can drink this. I actually have a bottle of it, so I only took some parts. Let's go, I'll give you them. Hmm? I also have something else to give to you. Excuse me, my boy. <laughs> Hello, my son. Hello. <laughs> Sweetheart, I'm so sorry for everything. Okay? I promise you it won't happen again. It's okay. 
Let's go inside. <clears throat> hey. Go back to the office. Okay? We'll see you later. Okay. Oh. So this is how it is, Ba. Anyways, I'm happy for both of you. And thank you. Thank you for coming back. Of course, I'm happy. <laughs> Let's go. And then thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, look, I come out here with that. Not head. No, it's a wabwa. Not head. And thank you. Buchi, thank you for all your efforts. You're a good friend. You're welcome. God will bless you. God bless you too. Okay. Hope you let me drop you off. Yeah. Hello, hello? Yes, send the ambulance. I'm on my road. Okay, thank you. Glad to see you smile again. Your smile brings light into my soul. Tickle me then. 
you. <laughs> Will you ever stop sarcasm in your life? <laughs> Will you? Tell me, how much do you miss me? I can't even explain how much I've missed you. In that case, follow me. Let me teach you how to explain it. Uh, uh, John told me everything. Yes. There's a check of eight million naira, please. Use it to start life afresh. And as for your brother Penwell, I will take care of his travel expenses. Blades. Oh. This means a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. God will replenish your pocket in Jesus' name. Amen. You're welcome. Thank you. Anyways, we have some good news to share with you. I think I know you're getting married soon. <laughs> so when is the date? April 16th. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. And uh, I also want to use this opportunity to ask for your forgiveness for the embarrassment I caused you. Oh, no, no. There is nothing to apologize here. I mean, every passionate man would do what you did. So, I don't see any embarrassment here. Thanks for your understanding. I really appreciate it. Thank you too. On a lighter note, let me go get us something to drink. Oh, I'm okay. I don't think I want to drink anything. Some snacks then. Snacks, please. Mm. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 